Yeah. All right. Sweet. Must be three. <laughs> sorry. Sorry. Oh. Sorry. <laughs> she doesn't want to be live. No, I guess not. She's on yeah. top of Box Mountain right now. Hello, everybody. Uh, we'll just wait. Oh, Cheyenne. It's okay. It, not anybody's coming in. I didn't mean that kind of hello. Yeah, she's like, freaking out. Hello, everybody, though. <laughs> is, Welcome to our is it live down there? impromptu live stream. It uh, does not show as live on uh -oh. here. Oh, wait. There we go. Now it does. Now it does. Oh, there's an ad. Oh, why'd you put ads on here? Uh, really, YouTube? Skip, Skip ads. Skip ads. There we go. There we go. Okay, now <laughs> I think we're live. I'm pretty sure we're live now. Yes. Okay, great. There was an ad that we had to watch on the iPad that uh, is our preview not on our screen. account. That's how we're going to watch the chat here, so we're going to try to answer some of your questions. But yeah, welcome to the live stream. We're doing kind of an impromptu live stream today. Not because of Lacey Act. The thumbnail you've been looking at was, was the wrong thumbnail. Was the wrong thumbnail. Um, with the Lacey Act call to action text was supposed to say Lavender Hognose update. Yeah. So it got I mean, a thumbnail. Lacey Act got defeated or thrown out, it which did. good, good job. Awesome news. Yep. Thank you. That's like what USR is there for is to fight for our rights to keep reptiles, and we were successful in removing that from the Lacey Act. So that was which it shouldn't amazing. have been there anyway. So no, it was had yes, nothing to in. do with. That. Yeah, right. So Cheyenne is also very excited, aren't you? She is sporting her pink, like soft material sweater today, and we've discovered she really likes this material, yeah. like as opposed to just normal yarn. Well, my this is like way off to the side. Really soft material, and she she likes it. She doesn't chew this off like within a couple days, like the other ones she's been doing recently. So there we go. Learn something new about Cheyenne. And you. She's are... spoiled rotten. I think we yeah. knew that. <laughs> yes, yes, she's also very spoiled rotten. So today's live stream, we have an hour and a half, so until 4.30 p.m. Central Time to cover what we're trying to cover here, which is opening some fan mail and giving you an update on the baby hognose snakes, the lavenders from yesterday's video. And if you haven't seen that, go watch that. Please go watch it. It was, it was very exciting cutting yeah. the eggs because we thought we weren't going to get any lavenders for a while because we cut so many and they were all normals. But then... It all ended up okay. So yeah. we have lavenders. So we're going to show you some of those. We're also going to try to answer some of your questions that we see in the What can be a chat. phrase we tell these people to go and write in the comments of that video? So people are like, why is everybody saying Scooby-Doo in this comment? <laughs> um, I was going to say Scuba Steve, but then I was like, Scuba Steve. Yeah, my brain just kind of went in three Could different directions. Scuba Steve likes pink bananas. <laughs> That will be the phrase right. that you need to put in the chat of the lavender video, and everyone will be confused. Anyway, <laughs> lavender hognose is here. These are our holdbacks from that video, and that video actually came out about a month ago, or we filmed that video about a month ago, which is when they hatched. So they have grown significantly since you saw them yesterday in the video. This is the pinkish colored, like jaguar, or so, like split conda um, hognose that we held back. That one's doing really well. And I'm looking at the camera, it looks gray. Yeah. Huh, that doesn't look pink at all. I mean, all. you need to find a normal one. Do uh, we have a normal in this? Yeah, this is the striped normal that we're holding yeah, back. Yeah, throw that striped normal in there. Thankfully, all of the babies from this clutch are eating frozen thawed, and they took to them pretty much right away, especially our holdbacks, which was really convenient. So here's, okay, here's normal striped that we're keeping. Here is a grayish colored lavender, so that one you shouldn't be able to see much of a difference on. Yeah, it just on. looks faded. Okay. And then here is the oh, pinkish, the pink one. here's the pink lavender, who's nice and beefy because it's a really mm. good eater. It still kind of looks normal. And you can't really tell on camera there That's either. That's such a shame. It we'll have to really, figure it out. It really, really is, yes. But those are doing well. Here's some more. Uh, just another lavender. That was the sassy one that came out first. Oh, You're doing better. So You're still sassy though. And then we There's have a lavender there poking out and a lavender over here that was under this cave. So there you go. You can go under the, nope, okay. So yeah, the lavenders that we're holding back are doing really well and all eating like the keepers or holdbacks started eating right away. So that was amazing. And now the other ones from that clutch are officially available. So we will be- So quick question, I saw somebody list. talking about the paper. When are we gonna move them to Aspen? That's a good question. We might move them once we upgrade them bins. I think that's kind of when we transition them okay. to more of an adult substrate. It's just so easy right now feeding them when they're on paper towels because we can cut the head off a of pinky mouse and put the head and the body both in here, just scatter them around anywhere. And then the snakes can come and eat them and keep slithering all, all on their way. So it's nice because then they don't ingest substrate. So I think when we upgrade bin sizes, that's when we'll probably do the Aspen. I think that's what we've done in the past. Yeah. 
So. Also, the zoo is open. We're not going out and seeing Rex. Sorry, guys. Oh, yeah, zoo is open. <laughs> <laughs> if we went out there, it would take a while for us to be able to come back in. Yeah. There's a lot of people out there right now, yeah. too. But I think I'm going to put the baby hogs back so they don't escape while we're opening fan mail. All right. So you have Cheyenne and Ed I time. will. I will do this. Also, if you guys are in the area or want to make a fun trip, come up on Labor Day weekend. That's when we're raffling off the cages for uh, the build-off. That'll be a fun weekend. It's the year one anniversary for the zoo. So that's cool. What else is going on around here? I can vamp. Um... There's nothing really else going on. Me and Emily are moving. That's why we're doing this fan mail opening, because we still have a mound of fan mail in our living, living room. room. Yeah, so, so this is half of the mound that we're going to open today. And also Madison is here. Yep, Madison's so. here, <laughs> listening to music and doing tarantula stuff. Um, yeah, so this is half of what was at our house. Decided to bring it in. We're going to open all of this today, hopefully, if we have time in the yep. next hour and a half. And then we'll open the other half Maybe next week? Possibly? I don't know. We're moving on Friday, so we're going to spend yeah. Friday, Saturday, Sunday uh, like moving and doing other things. And Emily will still be here to meet people. Yeah, I Saturday I'll won't. still be here for meet and greet. So, yeah. Uh, yeah. Sunday we have the Eau Claire Expo. So That's we're true. Be there. So, yeah, busy weekend for yeah. sure. So we well, have to do I that. Think, I think we're ready to start, aren't I we? I think so. I might have to. Here, bear with me, everybody. It's going to be a bumpy ride here in a second. Yeah. Sit. There. Okay. Did it work? I think so. I'm going to have to, like... Yeah, I'm gonna have to lift the thing. Okay. Whoop. Uh, now you guys get to go for more of a ride. See, usually we would edit all of this out. <sighs> Sorry. That Especially pin. Cheyenne yelling yeah. at mom. That pin wasn't ready yet. I'm preening your feathers. She's molting right now. Oh uh, yeah. So you get the all, all the raw footage. Yeah. Today instead, unedited. Did everything. you set the chat to slow mode? I don't know how to do that. So no, okay. I didn't. Do you know how to do that? I might have to. Okay. I'll let you uh, do might that let now. you start opening and yes. I'll run away and go turn slow mode on. Okay. <laughs> Alright, sorry. Man, these pins. You guys are so ready. tall. Yeah. Alright, perfect. I think we'll get started. Yep. I'm going to open a box from this is from Hale in Oregon. And I think I'm just gonna leave Cheyenne there for a while. Yeah. She'll just be she'll be queen, queen of the tower. I think somebody just said no slow mode is not on, so I'll be okay. right back. Okay, it's gonna hopefully get that working. We'll see. We'll see. Oh, we'll see. the code word was Scuba Steve likes pink bananas? Yes. Okay. Yes, that is the code phrase. I'm also gonna make sure you're on silent, because we've done that in the past. Boop boop. There we go. Silent? Yeah, because okay. it'll like, and everybody's like, oh my god, my ears. Oh, yeah, I see, I see, because my mom is probably inevitably going <laughs> oh, yeah, to call text you. at some point during this stream. My mom always knows what to call. <laughs> All right, so this is from Hale in Oregon, and this, wow, this came a long way, has pictures. Oh, I'm going to have to show you on screen. Okay, so this must be Hale's ball python. Beautiful. I don't know what morph that is. And it looks like a clown banana something. And then we have a pastel ball python. And, oh, I should, probably shouldn't show pictures on, on the internet without permission. So Hale sent pictures. And Hale says, Hale, oh my gosh. Whoa. There's like fancy chocolate in a fancy bag even. Oh, it's a reusable bag. Oh, that's awesome. And coffee. Nice Honduras coffee. Oh, that smells really good too. Oh, thank you, Hale. I can't wait to try that. Okay, so there's also a little bit of a letter in here too. Oh, a very long letter, so maybe I won't read the entire thing. But, hi, my name is Hale. Uh, I'm a 26-year-old senior software engineer at a software company. My last year has been awful, even on top of the pandemic and rampant uh, police brutality in my city, but from that uh, came, from, came a love for snakes. I've always found them fascinating and enjoy their texture when you hold them. But last summer, I adopted my first snake, a three-year-old pastel ball python named Absalom. Whoa. Congrats, Hale, and now it looks like you've been bit by the snake bug and you have quite a, or a couple at least. Thank you for the coffee and for the chocolate. I'm really curious to try this. And I love this, it's in a reusable bag too. That's great. We're able to get yes. slow mode. Turned on. Nice. All right. I will have to try this for sure. Thank you, Hale. And the coffee. Oh, I, I did not have coffee this morning, so I'm, I'm going to be dragging. Did you not have coffee? I didn't. No, I, I oh, had a coffee happen? drink. Yeah. Oh, that's right. You had a naked juice. Yeah, that was very tasty too. But it wasn't coffee. Okay, this is also, from. Also, when I said we're moving, I don't mean we're moving facilities. Oh no, we're moving. moving. Our house is moving. 
Like yes. we're leaving our house to go to a nearer house to the facility. Yes, we're gonna be hopefully cutting our commute time in half with this new house. So that'll be amazing. Yes. This is from Heather in Illinois. Oh, there's a letter in here. Oh, there's questions. Oh, perfect. All right, uh, question. Oh, this is what she sent. And is there, okay, the question from Heather is, is there any animal you would never want to own? Um, a tuatara. A tuatara. <laughs> yeah, because they need an air conditioning Way unit. Way too much work. Yeah, tuataras need a lot of work, or a lot of maintenance. So. I mean, like lions, tigers, bears. Oh, yeah. Oh, I don't my. want any of I those. Was thinking, uh, I was thinking reptiles. Oh, I'm like, oh, yeah, but you're right. Hard. Large cats, probably not. For reptiles, I would never want to own exotic venomous snakes. They're really cool, but I, I don't think it's worth the risk of getting bitten and not having local uh, antivenom. Oh, we're totally gonna get one of those. No, future. we're not. Yeah, okay. we might go, we might expand the zoo. Anyway, in Heather. Which case, then that. Sent eco earth and ooh, rice and gecko food. This is perfect. We can use this for our rescues. And oh, a brick of eco earth. Awesome. We can totally use that too. And biodegradable food cups. Nice. We can use all of these, Cheyenne. We're so excited. Here, do you want a, do you want a hat? Oh, she's not gonna keep a hat on. That does look like a straw hat, though. It does. Here. Yeah. Here. Here, I think. Let's hold you here. Hat. Oh, okay, it's here it is. You can do that one more okay, time. Okay. Okay. Oh. Hat. No. Oh. No. She does not like the hat. Go away. Okay. Thank you, Heather. We can use this for our animals, definitely. Just today, we had twenty-one bearded wow. dragons surrender. Like yes. just an hour yeah. ago. So we now have like 40 here to drag babies here. I think we're up to 60 because oh. we had 20 the previous week too. That's true. And then we already had 20 adults. Yeah, we have like 60 beer to dragons in the adoption program, guys. It's insane right now. So I'm going to give everybody just one little tidbit I learned. It is very cool to breed animals, especially bearded dragons, for the experience. If you do it, however, yeah. Just get rid of all of the eggs except for two and incubate those two unless you know of somebody who can take it in. Because otherwise you're flood rescues and then rescues have issues getting rid of bearded dragons. <laughs> We've talked to it with many other rescues and they see the same thing around this time of year where people did it for the experience, which is cool. I Very more educational. Than go do it. Yep. But just only do like two, one or two eggs. So you make sure you're getting the experience. Don't hatch all of them. Don't hatch 30. <laughs> please, please don't hatch all of the eggs. Because I don't know how we're going to find homes for so many baby beardies. But we'll see. We'll see. So, we'll figure it out. I don't know who sent these, but somebody printed off from a company. Uh, I'm a good noodle, and Aww. they'll boot my snoot and call me a noodle. Oh my gosh. Those are adorable. There wasn't the name? No, it was just from a company. Oh, yeah, you definitely have to show this. Those are adorable. Aw, thank you, mystery person. Yeah, who sent us thank bugs. you. We can bring those to our new house. This is perfect timing. Yeah. We just packed up. Oh, no, we haven't packed up our mugs yet. We can put that in the box tonight. Yeah, perfect. This is a package that's to Rex the alligator and her owners. I'm gonna like not show their address, of course. But I thought this was really cute. To Rex and her owners. So I'm curious if this is a Rex specific toy or gift. We'll have to see here. I'm also trying to keep an eye on the chat. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't, so. Okay, yeah, and the chat is over on your side, so. Yeah. Uh, we will try to answer questions. Uh, I didn't see any good questions. There's the request there. to bring them closer to the table. Which I agree. I think we should try to bring the camera a little bit closer. Okay, thank you. Yeah, good suggestion. I was kind of thinking that too. It's a little far away. All right, we'll bring that closer. I'll open Rex's gift, which is from Rachel. That better? But, uh, let me wait for the delay. It's from Rachel Bong Bong, or Bongo and Meow Meow. Okay, from Massachusetts. Uh, I'm almost at the point where you move it closer. You see me shake it like yeah, my mother? Yeah, it's like all shaking. Yep, that's much better. Okay, Perfect. you're very welcome. We're not doing a house tour either. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know if we're going to, I don't think we're going to do a house nah. tour. Um, you'll probably see us film bits and pieces in the house, the new house, maybe like in our kitchen, like we always did in the old house. So you'll get uh, little snippets of what the house is like through videos, I'm sure. Yep. All right, so this is, oh, cute. This is, okay, which way does this go? Six, there we go. It's an alligator clock, guys, where the mouth moves. Oh, Cheyenne, what do you think? What do you think? It's very cute, isn't it? Look at that. You're in the perfect spot. This is adorable, guys. Okay, do, there's the letter. Do you want or need anything from Seattle? Seattle, what's good. Seattle known for? I don't coffee? Know. Coffee, yeah, they are known oh, for coffee. I would love to try Seattle coffee. 
Oh, that'd be amazing. Beautiful art from Bongo and Meow Meow. And Rachel. Yeah. And a nice letter. Stuffing here. Aww. Cute. Last year, Bongo wanted a clock for his third birthday. So, Meow Meow made him a Rex the Alligator clock. We decided that you needed an alligator clock too. So, we worked together to make you one. Is it raining? It, it is it's raining. raining. Oh, wow. I wasn't expecting that. Is that, is that chair still oh. outside? Oh, shoot, it is. Well, I don't know. What we we're might gonna have do. to give that guy back. It's fifty dollars. Yeah, we might have to. Well, we might not be selling that chair anymore. He should have come to pick it up yesterday, and we forgot to move it in. I wasn't expecting right No, I wasn't either. All right. Well, we'll have to deal with that later. Okay. Yeah. So, um, these are really cute. Thank you, Bongo, for drawing this art and for making this awesome clock. So that sounds like the whole family made that. I'll have to find a good spot for that clock. I love how the jaws move around as the hands. Cute. All right. I got a package from Ariel who sent us a sweet comic. Oh, nice. Uh, cool. Mm -hmm. Got a comic. Oh, it's a two sided comic with Cheyenne in there. Look, Cheyenne, you're part of the comic. That's you. Look at you. Yeah, there you go. That's your yep, silhouette. No, don't chew on it, though. Okay. We got some Brazil nuts for Cheyenne. Oh, should we give her one? Sure. Okay. Do you want a nut? Let's see if we can make her sneeze. Yeah. Oh, she's like scooching over. Okay. Well, <laughs> oh, this is from Ariel from Australia, by the way. Ariel from Australia. All right. Cheyenne. Ready? Can you go bless you? Ready? <gasps> bless you, good girl. All right. That's like her only, her only trick. Is that good? Mmm. Well, Ariel, she approves. Thank yes. you for the, the, what, the Brazil nuts? Brazil nuts, yeah. Yeah. And some Pokemon cards here. Oh my gosh. Whoa. Some Australian Pokemon cards, Australian I would assume. Pokemon cards, that is awesome. Do they say mate? Like, okay. good day, mate? Oh, do the Pokemon? Yeah. I'm sure it's written on the cards It probably is. Absolutely. Are you gonna open them? Oh, we gotta open Should one we? I wasn't sure. Okay, I will open one of these. Oh my gosh. Australian Pokemon cards. All right. Let's see what we have here. They also made us a water dish. Oh, handmade water dish. Yeah. That's cute. All right, what have we got? We have... I think you're supposed to put this in front, right? Is that how you do it? There we go. Okay. Code for the first person who There's gets so many it. You're supposed to flip through, I think. Yeah, you're supposed to like move some to the front. I don't know exactly how many of those. Coughing, Shinx, Yaw Mask, Applin, Hatena. Don't know how to pronounce that one. Beriscuta? Probably. Toxicity, and Energy. More. Uh, I actually don't recognize that one. It's a hamster Pokemon, though. Nice. Nice. Look at that. All right, weird. There wasn't any, um... There's a rare in there. Oh, there it is. That that was the rare. It just didn't shine. I didn't have it at the Four right angle. Four cards to the front from the back. All right, I'll do it. Four front... Does that include the... the This card? The trainer... I that one? don't know. Four plus this one? Oh, or four well. including that one? Uh, that is a really cool it's artwork. It's four not including that one. Okay. All right, so I'll do it that way. Okay. Here's the energy. And we got... Oh, come on. Focus camera. <laughs> Why are you not focused? Come on. There we go. Oh, and we'll just kind of move. Switch. Dude, dude. Aw, Link from Washington asked. Nice, there we go. Oh, that was the Seattle question. Yep. That was Link, did you realize that was Link? Yes. Oh, you did, okay, nice. Um, I don't, I've never been to a Comic-Con, so I don't know what they have there. Oh, that was Comic-Con? Oh, I completely skipped over that. Yeah, yeah, yes, is there My anything you want from Comic-Con? I don't Comic -Con. to do that word. <laughs> you don't have to send us things, Link. You send us so many gifts. You're so nice. Okay, here, we're the package. Oh, there's art. Okay, this is from, I'm trying to find a name here, uh, from Nick in Florida. There we go. Oh, never mind. Hi, I'm Lena. I'm Raina. Okay, Raina in Florida sent this. Oh, I love your channel. My favorite has to be Cheyenne, followed by Rex. And look at this artwork of Cheyenne. Look at you, with all your feathers. Yeah, if you had all your feathers, you would look like this. You don't, no, 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 no. Well. Aww. Okay. Well, then, Cheyenne christened it. <laughs> yes, Cheyenne christened your art. Didn't ruin the actual drawing, so I think we're good. Now it's, now it's final. That's perfect. Okay, I have a pun from Reyna. What do you call a snake that bakes? A snake that bakes? Yeah. A python. Oh my gosh. Ah, that's pretty good. All right, so Raina also sent, oh wow, a whole collage of our animals. Look at that. Oh my gosh, these are all of our animals. These are pictures from our zoo. And you're in there too, Cheyenne. These are really pretty. 
Nice job on this, Raina. I really like that. That's like our zoo, right there. Yeah. Cool, thank you. Oh, and Raina also sent, whoa. Oh, that is really cool. This is a, a handmade snake around its eggs and all the eggs are actually oh, loose too. So I don't want to tip it too much on camera, but that's adorable. Thank you, Raina. I have to like put that on my desk or something. That is awesome. Thank so, you. So, I got a package from Veronica from Illinois. They sent over an, a Pokeball with an Umbreon in it, which oh, is really cool. That is really cool. Except the Umbreon is kind of like on its side. It kind of fell oh, nice. during shipping. Come on. That's so pretty cool. This is also from Raina, Toy Snake. Wow. Super cute. Thank you. Would you focus for me, camera? Oh, it doesn't want to focus for me. Here, come oh, on. The hand thing. Come on. There yeah, we go. Yeah. That's so that's cool. that's really cool. I'll let yeah. You see that. Oh, it's a sleeping umbreon. I wonder if I could like crack it open to move the umbreon back in place. They also sent a bunch of oh. Milka chocolates. Ooh, nice. And they wanted to see if you knew where it came from. I already read it. So where it came from? Yeah. Where do you think Milka comes from? Oh, like the whole brand Milka? Yeah. Isn't this like the packaging reminds me of Cadbury type packaging? But I don't know. So this isn't Milka, is it? I think it's just this one. I'm gonna guess since there's a cow, Sweden. The Milka brand is from Sweden. Those chocolate yes! bars came from Poland. Oh, that's cool. I got it. I kinda wanna try this. It's like a biscuit in uh, a chocolate bar, and it's only a little bit expired, so yeah, it's fine. You know, I've eaten really expired things before. Yeah, yeah. Oh, there's some packages here that are from 2020. Oh, sweet. They also made Umbreon Snake Discovery. Oh, that is awesome. I really like that. We're up. also trying to stay somewhat clean because we have to ship out baby snakes and right after this. Right after this, yes. so we can't spend an hour cleaning like we normally do. Oh my god! We got a Pokemon box. This is really good. I've never tried something like this. It's a biscuit. Sorry, a biscuit and chocolate combined. You can't have this. This is chocolate. This is all for me. Oh. Wow. Do you want to see if you can taste bitter? Contact, strip to tongue, taste bitter or tasteless depending on taster. We could do the taste thing. Mm. Okay. Alright. I'll have to like wait a couple minutes. Yeah. How, what is that? Oh, those are the, the strips? The PTC tester papers. Basically, it's the. You we put, should it, show that up. You put um. it on your tongue, and some people taste bitter, some people can't taste it at all for some weird reason. What does it mean though about I your I have taste no taste? idea. Maybe somebody in the comments will yeah. what do let these us know. What does it mean about you? Just <laughs> genetics. I probably oh. just screamed into the mic there. Yeah, probably. Yeah, you probably did. Sorry, also, everybody. April, yes, you should get pink hair. Absolutely. This is also from Katie. Katie, okay. And George, huh. along with this Pokemon box. That's so I'll let you two random things. Okay. Figure that out. Contact strip to tongue tastes bitter or tasteless depending on taste. Okay. Let's see. Does anybody uh, have a reason? Yeah. Can anyone explain uh, what this means? Does somebody mean, like, said they can taste them. Is it like if it tastes bitter, you like cilantro or something like that? Is it the whole thing? Probably some taste bud thing. Yeah, it's just a genetics thing. Cilantro equals soap. Maybe that's it. Like if people... Oh, you're already doing it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I don't taste... I don't taste anything. Maybe that's why you like cilantro. Maybe. Here, you try it. Maybe you'll get like a fun, bitter Second taste. Water. There you go. Alright. Okay. Are we supposed to try this with all of our staff? And see if they can taste bitter or sweet? Yeah, or nothing? We'll Huh. Taste anything? Oh. I guess I, I also don't know how old those strips are either. This is from Claire. It tastes a little bit bitter, but not really. Not, not like much? overpoweringly bitter. Huh. So, what is what is? I don't uh, know what it means. All right. This means genetics. This is from Claire and Sydney in California. Oh, and they sent they sent this one right to our facility actually. So this actually shouldn't be too old. We try to open these like on time. There's. Wow, a ton of decorations. Nice. Ooh, we could use these in our snake enclosures. Do you want it, Cheyenne? I'm sorry. Is this actually for you? Here. This is for you. Take it. No? Holy moly. No? Okay. So then there's all sorts of plants in here. This is perfect for baby season, actually. We could maybe, like, snip little <laughs> pieces off. Cheyenne, Jeez, let me have the plants. Cheyenne wants the plants. And there's eco earth in here. And an adorable little alligator. Look at this. Oh, is that scary? Oh, I'm sorry. I think this is really cute. 
Thank you. And there's also some art in here too. Katie also sent us some Pokemon cards, including wow, a holographic old, Nine Tails. Old Nine Tails. Yeah. Wow. That's like from the '90s. That's awesome. Oh. Okay. So then. Oh. They also sent dragons. They must re read Wings of Fire. Let's see. We sent you a package. Time to send. Oh, you already sent us something. Oh, Claire and Sydney. These are really cute drawings. Oh, Cheyenne's just gonna go after me. Yes. And we have a feather test okay. for men. Yes. Okay, here you go. Uh, let me make sure it's a species that can be legally obtained. Oh yeah, for sure. Do you want some chocolate from Katie? Ooh. Oh my gosh, Katie. That was in that Pokemon box? Yeah, I'm oh still going God. through that. Wow. There's so much chocolate. Uh, yes, I will take all of this chocolate. And this is also so for you. Much. Oh, okay, let's see. Okay, feather test, white so, feather. It's a white feather. The only white feathers I know of are like pigeons and, and that's too small, too big. So I'm gonna guess like a chicken. Yep, it's ramen chicken. Nice. nice, good job. Whoa, there's so much chocolate. Raspberry and dark chocolate, caramel sea salt, oat milk. Oh, that's cool. Strong velvety forest mint, bold silky, and almonds and sea. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna eat all of these. Where did you get Cheyenne? Thank you, Katie. Uh, I got Cheyenne from a lady in northern Minnesota who was trying to breed birds in that she would just buy two oh, macaws wow. and put them together. Wow, that's beautiful. That is amazing. Oh my gosh, Katie. Oh, that's that's really nice. I love the colors. Yeah. That's going to have to go on your desk, yes. probably. Yes, oh, that's going to go on the wall. Or on the wall, that'll oh. work. Uh, but yeah, I got Cheyenne from someone who was trying to breed macaws in Minnesota, and Cheyenne was bought as a proven breeder Jeez. pair, and a month later, after this lady bought them, the male died, and then she kept rotating Cheyenne to other male macaws, and she just wasn't having it, so she gave up and wanted to find her a new home, and so we took her. So that's how we got Cheyenne. That's yeah. Code cards. Oh my gosh, these are all code cards? Yeah, she said you could, we could release some on the videos wow. and stuff that people have, so. Okay, yeah. So if you're looking for code cards. Code cards. Here we go. Oh, focus, focus. Eh, it doesn't want to focus. There we go. Code card, code card, oh, code sweet. card, code card. Co oh, upside down code card. Another code card. Look at all those. Whoa! Yeah. Oh my gosh. I it's feel like Umbreon. everything just needs to be gigantic and it's so much better. The cards just yeah. should be all like, gigantic. You now, should yeah. just be playing like the game with like cards like this. We're just like Umbreon. Oh yeah. You need a much bigger playing It's table. fine. Playing It'll table. be so much better. So, did you open this? No, that was yours to open. Oh, okay. Oh, I see. That's also from Katie. from Katie? Yep. Katie, you're so thoughtful. Okay, opening it. Maybe I'll open it actually on camera. Okay, so we've opened this up. I think I see a little snake in there. Oh. Oh, is this a hat? Oh my gosh. I think it might be a hat. <gasps> wow. Oh my gosh, there's a snake discovery hat. Oh, there's Cheyenne. We've got a berm. There's Rex right on top. Hopefully this is in focus. I didn't even check. Okay, yes, it is kind of in focus. Look at that. Oh my gosh, Katie. Cheyenne, you want to wear a hat? No. Bye, Cheyenne. Here you go. It's a, a nice, nice hat. It's beautiful. Oh, it looks so good on you. You did not like it. No. This is amazing, though. Thank you. We're gonna have to find out a good, find a good spot for this. Yes. Wow. Oh, there's our logo on that too. I didn't. I missed that the first time. Oh, Michael's in here. Michael, our editor. Oh yeah. my gosh. Hi, Save Michael. <laughs> this for next year. I will cover about half of coffee in Seattle. No. Oh, well, thanks, Michael. Oh, well, sweet. That's great. <laughs> yeah, he's. I had to postpone our our meeting a little yeah, bit. Yeah, we're supposed to have a meeting. Michael, here's what you're supposed to do this week. Oh yeah, so Michael, <laughs> actually, I could actually say this. <laughs> You'll be editing two baby videos this week. Um, for two weeks from now, I think it's gonna be a baby bull snake video and another baby bull snake video. Yeah, so you'll be, there you go. We don't even have to do our meeting anymore. Uh, after this, when we ship snakes and come back, and it's raining out there. Yeah, that poor chair. That chair is toast. Yeah. We shouldn't have left that outside. Is there anybody we can call to go over to the house? Maybe. Uh, no, not at this point, I don't think. Uh, and we could try Jeff, the neighbor. Oh, yeah, maybe he's But home. I need that to call him. Oh, and yeah. I don't know his number. I don't have it memorized. So. Maybe, like everything else, it'll go around us. It might go around our house. Let's hope that happens. Yeah. Otherwise, um, you're going to have to. 
give him as much. Yeah, that's he wouldn't want it anymore. Anyway, sorry guys. Um, there you go, Michael. That's all you really need to know. Uh, I will upload all the files later tonight for you. Okay. Um, Poor chair suffering. <laughs> Poor chair. I know. The rain. There's usually like a 15 minute delay between when it starts raining here and when it starts raining at home. So it's gonna be getting hit here pretty soon. That poor chair. Okay. Look, you know. it's the old logo. Oh, wow, that is the old logo. Yes, it is. <laughs> old logo. That's really cool. Just the whole letter on top of it. Mm -hmm. Nice. This is from uh, Carlin. Car I think Carlin in Ohio. We have something small. So I will. Let's see. No addresses. Okay, addresses on that side. Eh, eh, what's in here? We have. Oh. Oh, we have a letter. Oh, and, whoa. Oh, cool, it's a California red-sided bracelet. Nice. Whoa, that's so cool. Oh my gosh, and an Evolutions poster. <laughs> that is super move cool. Move your tail, move your tail. Can you Thank put you. this on me? Sure. Thank you. Oh, I mean, you could have just reached over, but that's fine. That's a really cool bracelet. I love it. Nice. It's a good size for me, too, actually. Oh, the rain's letting up. Maybe. Yeah, maybe it'll stop by the time it gets to our house. We'll find out today. Ooh, I'll make sure there isn't anything in here that shouldn't be. Oh, cool. So this is Carolyn. Carolyn? Carolyn? Oh, Carlin. Carlin. Okay. Carlin made this herself, and here is her business card. Like, we always like to push small businesses, for sure. So hopefully you can read that on there. Yep, maybe. Made in Ukraine. I didn't realize this came from Ukraine, but that is beautiful. Look at all the details for the California red-sided. Sorry, that was all out of focus, but this is really pretty, and you guys should go check her out. All right, thank you, Car Carlin. Look at this sweet necklace that Anna sent me. Oh, you got a cool snake accessory, too. There. Oh, wow, it moves up. Yeah, it's like a magnet. That is really cool. Nice. I think she sent it for you, but... Oh, well, it's yours now, or you're wearing it. Oh, that's awesome. It's a Charizard. Oh, that is cool. Charizard art. This is all from Anna oh. from Denmark, by the way. She sent us wafers. I have art from Regan in Ontario. Cool. Ooh, wafers? That looks really good. Ah, oh, okay. okay. Hang on, Regan. White, I have to try red, one. or black? Uh, red. Cheyenne also wants one. Uh, here you go. Ooh. Don't oh, she's gonna actually, don't actually eat, eat, don't eat that. Don't give it to her, she's gonna eat it. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sure there'll be more snacks for you. Here. What is this? Oh, it's like a caramel. Oh, I'm sure we'll have, <laughs> there you go. Mmm. <laughs> Does that make up for it? Oh, wow, definitely caramel. Oh, I don't know. caramel, sweet. I feel like I won't be able to talk. Mm, if I get this. Oh, this is like black licorice caramel. Mmm, I'm glad I chose red. Because mine's just normal caramel. Why would you add black licorice to caramel? That was really good caramel. You landed. I'm gonna save this. Land. Because I know I wouldn't be able to talk for a while. Eddie. Okay. Regan. Send some art. There's Inky, our black head of Python. Oh, cool. And an Umbreon. That's really cute. And there's a bunch of flowers in here for baby bins, too. It's like full of flowers for baby bins. That's a good question. Aww. What eggs are you most excited about this year? I am, oh, I can't tell them it. You can't? So, from what you guys know that we have for eggs. There's only 2,000 people in the thing. 2,000 people? Mm -hmm. Well, we have to make them do something in order for me to share oh. a spoiler. So, okay, what I'm thinking here is, what you know of as far as eggs that are out, I am most excited for the Madagascar giant hognoses, which, are hatching right now, actually, just over there. So that's pretty cool. Do we give them a sneak peek? Nah. I don't know. Okay, not that. But <laughs> we will. Okay, so we'll make you wait for those. But there's another species of egg that I'm even more excited about hatching, and it's due in a couple of weeks, or they're due in a couple of weeks. But we haven't published the egg video yet, so you don't know of them, but it's a brand new species, and uh, I don't know what we're going to have to make them do in order to learn what it is. We'll, we'll see. If you stick around, we'll probably just share yeah, it. Maybe at the end, we'll share it. Yeah, we'll share, share it at the end. How about that? Cheyenne, Regan sent you a toy. I know you're distracted because you have a treat right now. There are but so many sweet stickers this. we got from this Oh, Pikachu stickers. Yeah, and there's like a shiny Pikachu. Oh, that 
That's awesome. We can put those on the racks. We just got new racks too, actually. Yeah, and we can put those and on there. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Here, Cheyenne. For when you're done with your treat, Regan sent you a toy. Anna. Yeah. You're a good girl. Yes, you are. Thank you so much, Regan. She sent us a huge thing of truffles. Oh, nice. All right. I have lunch now. I can just eat all of them. We haven't really eaten today. Not really. We'll, we'll just we'll just eat a bunch of chocolate. Yeah. All right. I thought there's a garbage can over here. Oh yeah, I'm moving some stuff around. So uh, there's a note in this package from Tori. <gasps> More? Oh my gosh. Well, I'll take this one, and I'll take that too. There's a liqueur. Oh, oh, nice. You're gonna go for that yes. one. Yes. Look, look here. Nice. Do you want it? No. Not for you, Cheyenne. Do you want one of these? There's two layers. Oh my gosh, there's so many chocolates. Yes, I will take one. What is this? Oh, weird. I wasn't expecting that on the inside. Oh, that's a. Oh. Weird. Is it good? No. No. <laughs> that one isn't. Oh, I need something a little bit. Okay. Okay, I wasn't a huge fan of that one, but maybe I'll try. Is there a guide? Um, on the no, it's not sweet. I'm gonna try this one. Yeah, that one is. Wait, are these all Ooh, the purple? Caramel! Okay, okay. they're good. Yeah. Yep, this makes up for it. Great. It's very good. Mm hmm. Thank you. Okay, anyways, from Tori, there is a message in this um, package. Booze. Booze. <laughs> It's like actually liquid. Oh my gosh, there is liquid booze in there. Yeah, no wonder you like it. Tori says, Hi to Ed and Emily, I saw these and immediately thought of you. I'm sure you can find some Pokemon to catch in your zoo. So inside the package is... Whoa. Whoa. Is this a giant Pokeball? Hang on. Oh. I, I don't quite know it. Okay, so it's 3D printed. There we go. That goes there. Oh, are they just little... Oh, they're hides! Oh, oh that's amazing. They're Pokeball snake hides! That is so cool! Oh my goodness. Where are we gonna put these? We need a good spot for these. Oh, thank you, Tori! They have Snickers This is so in, great! Like the... Oh, I haven't seen a Snicker in that kind of wrapper before. Maybe it's a Cheyenne hat! Is it that hat? No? Okay. This is amazing. We'll put these in our personal collection and back, I think, so you'll be able to see them in videos. Aww. And send you some pins that oh, we don't yes. have in our store. Still waiting for a pin backpack to come. Nice. Thank you for grabbing that, Ailey. <laughs> Aww, cute pins! And some chocolate. Oh, wow, just a whole square yeah. of chocolate. Oh, that's hefty, too. Nice. Oh, praline mm. filling. You're gonna try this. Oh, is it black liquor licorice? That. And if anybody knows what this is, you get to try it. Hmm, that doesn't sound like it's gonna be good if you're gonna make me you try it. Mm. You know, look how like, sweet and tasty oh, it looks. Oh, this is the salty stuff. Oh, oh. <laughs> it just touched my tongue. Oh, that's so salty. Oh my gosh. I'm sorry. Why, I... why would you want who, salty licorice? Who likes that? What in the world? Okay, somebody who likes salt licorice, please comment why you like salt licorice. How can you like this? This is just pure salt. I don't I don't know how you do it. Huh. Oh my goodness. At least it doesn't last too long on your tongue. Oh, oh. I you threw the whole thing in. Oh, you ate the whole thing? <coughs> okay, well, I didn't do that. That was, that was all you. <laughs> all right, I'm gonna keep going here. We have a long box. It's a from. big deal in Sweden. This is from in Sweden? The salty. black licorice, yeah. Okay. Or the salty licorice. Huh. That was an experience, that's for sure. This is a package from... I don't have anything to cut with. It all disappeared. Do you have that scissors? Or something? I think you stole my scissors. You didn't. Hmm. Plus they're under here. Maybe they're getting buried. There we go, thank you. This is from Margaret with Terra Tiger Studios. Did she finally get us our backpack? Yeah, maybe. That'd be awesome. I would love to Are have you sure that. this isn't something for the store? Maybe it's for the store. Maybe it's something we ordered. And oh, look. The... You get a necklace, too. Oh, cool. Nice. Oh, no, yours is a bracelet. 
Oh, cool. Oh, yeah, add it to the arm. Oh, cool. Yes. Shiny bracelet day. Isn't that great, Cheyenne? Do you like the shiny bracelets? Look at those. Oh, you're scared? Okay, sorry. Okay. Oh, my gosh. Come here. All right, so we have, oh, posters and I think stickers. Oh, nice. Oh, I remember this. Okay. This is a sticker design from Terra Tiger Studios. It's a, oh, and there were keychains in the poster that fell on the ground. Let me grab that quick. All right. So I guess this design was inspired by Peanut, our, would you focus? Focus, 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 maybe. There we go. Uh, focus again. Okay. Uh, inspired by our big bull snake and bat called Peanut, a really, really old man. And so this design was inspired by him. So she wanted to give us a couple copies, which is very nice of her. And then... Does anybody know about Peanut? Did we say anything about him yet? Uh, I wasn't sure when we were going to. Oh, okay. Well, he... Now's as good a time as I any, guess, I guess. Yeah. Peanut did... Well, let me show you these first. Alright, so these are all the, also designs from Terror Tiger Studios, which are adorable, and you should definitely go check them out. Uh, yeah, we weren't sure when to share it, but Peanut did... Pass Peanut away. was an old man. He was very, very, old man. very, very old. And we actually didn't even breed him to Brad this year. Even if Brad didn't have surgery and couldn't breed this year anyway, we weren't going to pair Peanut with Brad because he was really slowing down. That's really cool. Um, but he did about, was it a month ago or so? About a month ago, yeah. He was kind of slowed down and we came in one day because we were like, you know, I think we're, we've got to call it. His quality of life isn't there anymore. He stopped eating and he had just passed away overnight. So yeah, it, was, we were, it was his time. He ate and we were like, okay, we'll give him a few more days and see how he how he does with the food. Um, but he was basically not moving. He was very floppy. He was, but he did eat. So we were like, well, maybe. And yeah, then like the next day we came in and he was passed. So unfortunately, Peanut did pass, but but he was an awesome snake. Yeah, he was. He a was very a great snake. old, old snake. But he was fun while we had him, for sure. No. And this is the New Caledonian, I think? Yep. Yeah, New Caledonian poster from Terra. And a cute postcard that says you're one in a million, crocodilian. That's cute. That is. <laughs> so now, I still have Denmark stuff. Like, oh my gosh, this is there's so much in e there. Theater Originals. Okay. Here you go. Am I going to like this one? I don't know. Okay. I think so. Oh, it's like a, oh, no, it's not. I thought it was a turtle at first. I still have black licorice in my teeth. <laughs> it's like a marshmallow with a nut covered in chocolate. It's pretty good. Yeah. Kind of an odd aftertaste, but pretty good, actually. Okay. Yeah. Good shot. Mm-hmm. That's cool. Thank There's you. There's still so much stuff in here, but that's Can all I'm going to go through. Save some things. Yeah. Okay. Thank you so much, Anna. That Thank was an you, amazing Anna. box. Like. There's all these. Oh, that came from Anna too? The mochi came from Anna. Oh my gosh. So. Wow. That was so nice of you, Anna. Thank you. I can't wait to like dig into some of those other ones. Yeah. Nice. I'm oh, showing you this right. Go on here. Put your right. You can have your ring. Oh, all right. Yeah, I'll put your right out here. I've got sweet snake ring now. Look at that. I feel like I should have like a magic power with this too. It's like, uh, what was that movie called? Like 10 rings? No, where he had almost the, at ten rings. The dragon ring. Oh. Oh, was that with the guy who voices Toothless? Yeah. No, not uh, Toothless. Uh, sort of the Apprentice. Hiccup. Yeah, the Apprentice. Okay. Yeah. Oh yeah, Hiccup, not Toothless. Hurry, we're back. I'll get this too. Okay, I have some older packages here. So I'm sorry it took so long to open. Oh yeah, we know the people from Sorbet Jungle. Sorbet Jungle? Oh yeah, yeah, we have some plushes from them from yeah. yesterday. Plushes and pins. I was trying to get to, to wholesale them, but they're just so swamped and yeah. overbooked that it's just been one of those things. But yeah, maybe someday. Sorbet yeah. Jungle, if you're watching this, we do want to carry your products from the store. Just reach out to us when things calm down so you can get yeah. back to us. <laughs> well, somebody had said they went into a con and saw Oh, Sorbet and just Jungle. saw how yeah. Okay, gotcha. This is from Engen in, oh, Champlin, Minnesota. Wow, just down the road. Was it shipped here? Oh, it was shipped to our P.O. box. Wow. Oh my goodness. And there's so much chocolate in here. Chocolate. We had some rat snakes dropped off at Phil's facility recently. Rat snakes? Yeah. Uh, yes. There's two Texas rat snakes in Batson's, those oh, big okay. ones. They're doing, doing really well. well. Okay. They're eating frozen thaw. They're actually 
friendly too for rat snakes. Yeah, they're doing great and they're huge. So yeah, they're, they're yeah. doing awesome. The Texas Indigos from you as well are also doing well. Um, they're in like our indigo area, basically. <laughs> they're doing very well. Look at all this chocolate. Oh my gosh. There's nuts for you. And there's Swedish fish. Oh, awesome. Mini tropical Swedish fish. And we've got Mike and I. Sweet. Oh, thank you, Egan. What are we going to try here? You want to try something, Shania? You want one? Want one of these? Yes? Okay. There you go. I like all the bedazzles of this. <laughs> shiny me. Okay. What do you think she's going to pick? She's got. Oh, you're already sneezing. I see. Okay. Hang on. Hang on. So we have cashews, almonds, walnuts, pistachios, and hazelnuts, it looks like. Place your bets on what she's going to pick. Well, I'm going to guess. four black rat snakes and the two blue beauties. Oh, those, yeah, yes. Those are doing great as oh, well. Oh, yeah, those all came in. They picked a walnut. All right. Yeah, no, those are, those are doing really well, all the black rats and the um, blue beauties. I don't think we've offered food yet, but we're going to very soon because we've had them for about a week now. So is that great? Yeah, she approves. She likes it. And that chair is definitely getting rained on right now. Yeah, there's nothing we can do about it. At this point, it's it's too late. Yep. Okay. How would you say that name? Uh, Greg. Is that Greg? I think that's a Greg. Greg or Suzanne? Oh no, Suzanne. Okay. So, oh, it's a big S. Suzanne. Ah, okay. So Suzanne no, sent some other some weirder local stuff from the Seattle area. Wow. From Seattle? <laughs> yeah. So we got candy cane truffle chocolate or coffee. Ooh. That's cool. We got pecan pie coffee. Whoa, fancy dessert coffees. We got yeah. Duo's peanut butter and caramel, I'm guessing chocolate. Ah, sounds amazing too, we got okay. These gluten-free plant-based chocolates. Whoa. Or not chocolates, uh, gummies. gummies. Just making nice. sure there's nothing else what Seattle can this? have in them I wanna try before this. I start eating them. <laughs> I want to try this square thing. Is it? It is chocolate. Whoa. I like intense chocolate. Oh, yeah, here's the gummies. Mmm, they're dark chocolate. Cool. Yeah. Duh. I need to eat this whole thing. This is, yeah, this is fine for Cheyenne. Here. Uh, sugar, but it's a live stream. Mm. Yeah. She doesn't get this all the time. Yeah, it's true. All these are soft gummies. Oh, really? Mm hmm. Oh. Oh, those are good gummies. Mmm. -hmm. She likes them too. Sweet fish. And Sour Patch Kids, your dad's favorite. Oh yeah, my nice. favorite. Mm -hmm. Your favorite too? Yeah, organic gummy worms. Oh, wow. here, here's another. Gummy sweets. Here's another uh, winter roast coffee. Winter roast coffee. What? Haribo Mega Roulette, like lifesaver gummies oh. that I just threw on the floor on accident. <laughs> you have to try those. And then six different chocolate bars. Oh my god. Jeez. Holy cow. That's so much! Oh, thank you! Wow. Thank you, Susan. Let's see, what did we all get? We got Celebrate Dark Chocolate with Truffle, Lily's Salted Caramel, Theo's Cherry Almond, uh, Loving Earth Raspberry, Milk Chocolate Cinnamon by Moonstruck, Salt and Malt, ooh, that sounds good, and Dark Chocolate by Moonstruck. Awesome. Thank you so much, Suzanne. Thank you. I can't wait to try you it. You want to try any of these? Uh, yeah, which one should we try? Uh, raspberry is always good. Should I do the raspberry one? Sure. I like raspberry. Trying to figure out who this name we had crossed out, because we must have crossed out right before a previous um, opening, but then we didn't actually open it. So I cannot read who this is from, but it's somebody from Connecticut, I believe. That's a good question I don't think I've ever heard. What were the names of our first snakes? Janet, full snake. Mine was... Uh, Athena. There you go. <laughs> you go. And what was she? She was an albino ball python. That's right. Years and years and years ago. So this is the raspberry? Mm hmm. Oh, took a few seconds. Very light taste. Yeah. Isn't it? Yeah, that is a very light raspberry taste. That's a good chocolate, though. Mm hmm. I like that. Mm hmm. I bet all those bars are going to be amazing. Mm -hmm. This is from our friends in Connecticut. Uh, I think they're malted milk balls, because that's what's in mine. It's like. Full of malted milk balls, oh my goodness. Oh, they're gonna fall out if I do that, actually. I'm gonna grab a milk chocolate one. I'm going through a milk chocolate phase right now. 
you, you have phases of chocolate. Oh my gosh. Mm. These look delicious. Mm, they are. They're malted, malted milk. Oh. Delicious. Oh. And they sent Okamon Tori. You're just gonna hide these. You can't eat those on me. Oh, I have my own box. It's okay. That won't oh, well. stop you. They sent a very, a very generous gift as well that I'm not gonna Jeez. show on camera. Yeah. You didn't have to send us to this guy's. Sorry, I'm like eating chocolate. You are so generous. You're so hungry. We will make happy. sure it goes to. Oh, ooh. We will make sure it goes to the animals. We will. I'm sorry. Rex needs new toys, so that'll Rex, be. Rex does need. Okay, this will go towards new Rex toy. How about that? Look at all this sweet. Ooh. Okay, you're gonna love that. That and one looks for, pretty. Thank you for the Pokemon cards, too. Oh, should we open one? At, oh, there's like two packs in here. I'm gonna open one. Alright, I'm gonna eat this saltwater taffy. Okay, Cheyenne sneezed. That means she wants some too. But you shouldn't give. Don't don't give her. No, don't watch, guys. <laughs> Cheyenne's not giving sweets all the time. <laughs> I, I promise. She quit, quit giving her unhealthy foods. We have nuts here for her. She likes it. Yeah, that doesn't mean she needs it. <laughs> okay. Anyway, Pokemon cards. We're gonna open this up. We've got looks like a Mega Scissor pin. That's sweet. Scizor is one of my favorite Pokemon, actually. That's cool. I think I prefer the original uh, Scizor over Mega, but the Mega does look pretty cool. I'll give it that. Okay, I'm gonna open this one, Steam Siege. Come on, camera, focus, please. Please focus. Okay, got, okay, we've got our cards. Okay, so we're supposed to take four, right? One, two, three, four plus the trainer card. I think so. Okay, so I'll move those. Here's the trainer card. Uh, if anybody needs the code, there we go. All right, we've moved our four up front. We've got Samurott. That might be the rare, I don't know. Maybe, maybe that is the rare that I moved to the front. Oops. Got it, okay. Got it, Driftmoon. Gardevoir, Mareep, Gritwick. Oh, 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 that was the perfect amount. Here's the rare. It's a Driftloon. Aw, cool. I like, oh, I like that cool pattern background. That's really neat. Thank you for the Pokemon card. We will love opening all of these. I'll set this box aside. Okay, this is a box. Oh geez, we've had that forever. We've had this since quarantine. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so sorry, whoever sent this, that we have not opened this box yet. But we have had this since quarantine. This is from Ashley in Georgia. Ashley, I'm sorry for the delay on this box. But now it is time. We are going to open it up and move this aside. We can all kind of watch. Okay, I'm not gonna have you read the note in the London accent, but do your best London accent. I, I can't do accents on. I would just do. Hello, Governor. I was thinking about that too. <laughs> I didn't want to be like offensive by saying that, but I was gonna do that. <laughs> okay. Well, now we have to hear yours. Hello, Governor. There we there go. Yeah. Okay. I feel terrible saying that though. Uh, well, it's not bad. That's yeah, what they just, say, right? I, All the time, it's, it's like oh, shrimp on the barbie. No, that's Australian. Yeah, I know, but that's, no, okay, that, that's okay. theirs for... Okay, Ashley sent us something <laughs> epic in here. Okay, I'm going to read this card first, but this is a really cool gift just from what I can see. Hello, Ed and Emily. Merry Christmas to you both and <laughs> everyone slash animals at the zoo. I have gifted you something that might help with... Oh, the little potty on the poster. Step up. Oh, good catch. Thank you. Here, can you go potty in the garbage? Go potty! Alright, I'll vamp. Okay. And by vamp, I mean I'll look at stickers and read this note loudly. Good girl. And now okay. mom's back, so I don't have to worry about she it. She went potty in the garbage. We're good. <laughs> Alright, I have to do something that might help with keeping your hands free while going about your day, and inside are some tasty treats. I live in Georgia, and these are plentiful. I don't know if Ed will like his present, but I got him one as well. I found it to be the best fit for him. I hope you like them, and I'll be looking forward to your future endeavors. Okay, Emily is green. Ed is red. No, you can't. Okay. Oh, you can't. Red. Eat the green. piece of paper. Is there like something that's green, something that's red? Oh my gosh. Okay. This is for you, from Ashley. Oh my gosh. That is amazing. That is so cute. Oh my gosh, a Charmander backpack. Okay, here's mine. I don't know how I could wear it, but... <laughs> oh, I bet you could find a way. Or I'll have two backpacks. Yeah, you might have two. I love it. Yeah. But... <laughs> oh, an Eeveolutions backpack! Oh my gosh! I love this so much! What? 
And she said there's stuff on the inside too. I think the main pocket. Ashley, this is incredible. Oh my gosh, mine's full of chocolate. Oh, mine is full of chocolate as well. Is it really? Yeah. Wow. Kit Kats and Ghirardelli's and Andy's oh. mints. Oh my gosh. Yep. Kit Kats, Ghirardelli's. Oh, I really like the peppermint bark. Ghirardelli is amazing. Okay. Andy's mint, nice. Oh, oh my gosh. There's stroop waffles in here. Oh my That's God. amazing. It's Ashley, like Christmas came in August. It did. I don't know what to say. Ashley, thank you so much for this. There, you can just use this instead of a purse. I might have to switch from a purse to this. Absolutely. I love this so much. I can look all fancy. Oh, I'm going to wear mine too. Oh, so that only did one strap. Are you one strap in it? Trying to be strap cool? Oh, no. What I forgot to grab was our. I forgot. Uh, you can't eat that, Cheyenne. Why are you sneezing for it? She just wants it. There you go. She's like, it's mine. I they sent it for me. I forgot to grab Patricia the box slayer. We need the machete. She didn't even get to participate in the uh, in the games. In the games, yeah. We have three machetes here. We only needed two for the two teams, Team and Green Patricia and Team Patricia was Black. probably the best one, so we just didn't. Yeah, we had to keep it fair. Patricia yeah. had like blades on both sides, and the other two only had blades on one side, so we gave them those and had to make it even, which there. makes sense. Now I'll two strap it. There you go. Oh my gosh. I'm sorry. Give me a, give me a minute here to make the strap big enough. Actually, these are amazing. Well, while you're doing that, I have some questions from Charlotte. Okay. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. Should slash can snakes be handled regularly? If they're still eating for you, I think it's okay to handle them regularly. I guess as long as they're still eating and as long as they're getting warm enough to properly digest their food so they don't regurgitate it, and they're, I guess, not showing signs of stress, I think it's okay to handle them regularly. Yeah. They get used to it. So this is from, you have to choose mine, I have to choose yours. Okay. If we turned into snakes, what would the snake be that we turned into? What species? Yes. You would be a blood python. Because you, you just, just feel like, eh, I'll sit here and I'll wait for food to come to me. Yeah. Yep. You would be like an overactive fox snake. Oh, you think? Yeah, where you wouldn't sit still, you move all over, you spread your poop everywhere. <laughs> That's true, I do do that. <laughs> my gosh. Also, Charlotte sent us a bunch of sweet stickers. Oh, there I'm we go. i look at the screen over here. And there's like sheep and feathers. Oh and all this kind of cool stuff. All sorts of fun stickers. Yeah. So. Aw, thank you, Charlotte. Thank you, Charlotte, for everything. Uh, and who gave us the backpacks? Ashley. Thank you, Ashley, for everything. <laughs> okay, yeah. Any, any more packages? Okay. I have more packages. We're good, we're good. All right, this is from Anna, any question? We just did a question, sorry. This is from Anna in New York. Cheyenne is helping. Help okay, here, you can just take the envelope. I have all the stuff from the inside. Oh, here, here. You can keep chewing on it. There you go. Anna, oh! Anna sent a bunch of cute cards. Oh, and they're full of puns. I love it. You crock my world. Thanks for sticking by me. Oh, oh my gosh, this cute little dinosaur hatching. Look at these cards! Oh my gosh, how are, where are we going to use these? Oh, I don't know if I can, they're too cute. Oh, oh. oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Thank you. Oh, that's cool. There's a chameleon card too. That's adorable. Oh my gosh. Okay, here's the letter. To Emily and Ed, I wanted to send you a small package to say thanks for all the entertaining and educational content. I make cards as a hobby and made some thank you cards you guys could give out to friends and family. They're nowhere near perfect. Oh, they're awesome. Nowhere near perfect. These are perfect. Uh, I used watercolor for the background. Wow, these are all individually handmade. That's cr oh, oh, cool! Wow, snake discovery dog tag. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Your thing, and then I'll go to mine. Okay, uh, I'm hoping for a business card in here so I can give her a shout out. Let's see. I'm not sure. What it is. Okay, I don't have a business card, but hopefully, maybe there's something on the cards because these are. So cute. There was a really cute one in here too. Look at that milk snake! Aww! Must be good. <laughs> I don't see a business name. I am so sorry. I wish I could give you a little shout out, Anna, but 
I will cherish these. These are really cute cards. Thank you. We will give these to friends and family. So Dylan from California sent us a bunch of cool stuff. He had a few questions. Uh, would you rather be a snake or a legless lizard? Snake. Yeah, I think snake. Snake yeah. a little bit better. Yeah. Cheyenne, got a bag of nuts. Oh, are you that good, Cheyenne? Look at all your nuts, Cheyenne. That's all for you. That's all for you. Okay. We'll, leave it, it, we'll leave it sealed because it's sealed and she's got a lot of nuts. Okay, yeah, we don't want to unseal it and then have to freeze it. We will save these for when she needs more nuts. But then, when looking in this, I saw this. Which I had no idea what it was. Huh, little, little beads? Okay. It's wax. Oh, Dylan oh. sent us a snake discovery wax seal. Oh my god. With gosh. like the entire thing, with like the, with the wax pourer. Well, how do you heat it up? With these little candles. Oh, you can't with candles too. So you you oh light god. the candles, you put the wax color you want in here, melt it okay. down, then you pour it on the envelope, then you take this and go. Wow. Which actually, I'm gonna go do that. Can we try that yeah. here on the stream? I'll, I'll try it over here if you're okay with it. Yeah. Like over there. Oops, sorry, there's something. Yeah, I'll do it on the back of this card. Okay. Wow. So, yeah, you're gonna heat it up? Yeah. Have a lighter? Uh, oh, no. there's a lighter in the drawer. There's a lighter over here. Yeah. So. All right, so we're going to try out the wax stamp yeah. or the wax seal as soon as it's heated up. What color do you want? Heated up. Uh, I think we have to do green for snake discovery. Okay. If there's a green. There's a blue green and a green green. So. Okay. This is from Vanessa, I believe. Uh, Dolce Vanessa in Hopkins, Minnesota. And, oh, this is a business card. Okay. Oh, they're, I think. Oh, they're small animal treats. Cute. Okay, so no furries delights. We've got treat confetti for small furries. And we can give this to our rodents. Oh, these are adorable. There's what's in here ultimate forage mix oh that's cool made with rose hips rose petals marshmallow root whoa dandelion and peppermint huh look at this i did not know this business was in minnesota but there you go she's like a neighbor of ours that's awesome little small animal foraging treats cool we'll have to try these with our with our mice and our rats they would love these not for you sorry this one actually is not for you this is for rodents yeah it's not all about you <laughs> Thank you so much. We will love trying those out for sure. This one's from, oh, there's no name. It's just an address. Someone from Texas. Let's see if I can find maybe a letter in here. Oh, no letter, but we have a couple other things. We've got, oh, maybe this is the letter. Oh, from Tyson from Texas. Oh, cute. All right, so we have a package that's all decked out, like Texas style, as you do. Okay. They're Ed and Emily. Been watching you guys for a few years. Put together four cards for Ed. Oh, Pokemon cards! P.S. My Texas Gold Millipede says hello! Oh, and Cheyenne's painting. Okay, I'll take a look at that in a sec. We've got our cards here. Oh, cute little Pichu sticker. Nice! And Pokemon cards! Oh, Porygon too. That's awesome. Thank you! Aw, that's awesome! Okay, what is this? Can canvas here. Oh, okay. Tyson painted. Whoa! Oh my gosh, I was not expecting that! That is really nice! Oh, we actually incorporated actual flowers in that too. Whoa, Tyson, you've got a talent! That is really, really cool! Cheyenne, look at this! <clears throat> it's you! Look at you! You see yourself on there? What do you think? Aw, I think she likes it. Thank you, Tyson. That, I love how it's shiny, too. That is crazy. Okay, finding a cool spot for this in our shop somewhere for sure. Maybe next to your cage in the new house. We could do that, too. That's awesome. Thank you so much. That's a wonderful painting, Tyson. I'm going to move the envelope over here. Ed's still working on the wax seal. Oh, you were supposed to do it off camera. Oh. Well, I'll do the other one on camera. <laughs> okay. Well, or you can just show it, I guess, yeah. once it's done. All right. Ed cheated and just did it uh, off camera. Well, there's so much stuff over there. Light on fire. Oh, that's true. Yeah, maybe just show it on camera. Okay. This is a package, a cute little pink package from, oh, oh sweet. from a business called Waker's Coffee in Georgia from Caroline, who drew this, which is very cute. And, Oh, that is awesome. <laughs> cool. Oh my gosh. <laughs> we are only using wax seals now. 
Oh my gosh. That's amazing. Yeah, that is. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty cool. Thank you for the seal and the stamp. Maybe like wow. one person a month from will Patreon? get a wax seal. Oh, that'd be cool. One person. Okay. Are you thinking person. for the picture or the swag? Uh, the picture would be easy to stamp it. The picture would be probably easy. So maybe one picture a okay. month. Okay. We'll get a wax one seal. Picture on a month. That sounds good. Okay. We'll start that next month. Awesome. Nice. Thank you. Who was that again? Uh, oh, the note was over there. Oh, yeah. Uh, wait, Thank Dad, you. Think from California? Yeah. Thank you to... Um, oh, you used Dylan. the Dylan's card. Okay. Yeah, Thank you, Dylan, Dylan's for card. the wax seal. We will be using that for Patreon packages. Uh, so, this was straight from a coffee company. And we have business cards here, so we can give them a shout out. Whoa. Wake up happy. Oh, oh, fancy coffee. All right, this is cool, made in Georgia. Okay, nice. I'm gonna have to try this. So we are we have a new brand to try, Waker's Coffee, Waker's Happy Coffee. So if I try this, the whole day is good. I mean, how can it be bad? There we go, wakerscoffee.com. And, oh, just more information about them. Sweet, they look like a healthy brand of coffee. Sweet, thank you. I will have to post somewhere. How it ends up. I can't wait to try this. Nice. Move this over here. How drenched do you think the chair is by now? Oh, it's soaked. Now we're gonna have to pay to get rid of it, unfortunately. Yeah, yeah I think so. All right, that's gonna be fun. Oh, I left the knife open right here. That's cool. Oh, good. <laughs> this is from, uh, well, it's from Canada, but there isn't a name on this package. It's kind of a ripped open package. We pre-opened this one because there's a lot of tape on it. Oh, but, I know what this is. This one. Oh, the one you're opening? Yeah. Nice. Oh. There's, whoa, fancy Pokemon cards. Oh, wow. I, I have to, to find a name of someone to thank here. Okay, oh, that's another Pokemon card. I can already tell. Is there a letter? I want to thank somebody. Oh, I don't see a name. Maybe there will be something in here. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, no, it's just a big card. Holy cow. All right, so I'm going to show these. These are a little bit easier to access right now. To whoever in Canada sent these cards, holy moly. Oh, Dragon Ball EX? Whoa, right here. Oh, these are all holographic. Oh, Lola Meowth. Oh my gosh. Happy Dialga. birthday, Aspen. Or future birthday. Yeah, happy birthday, Aspen. Wow. These are crazy. Oh, thank you for the mystery box. Thank you, mystery person from Canada. You're not even going to get a chance to. Uh, check these out because I don't want you to break these. Okay, our, our Canadian friend oh, also sent us coffee. Kicking Horse brand. Okay, just try that out. And there's oh, some of my favorites. Digestives. Yes. Nice. To go with the coffee. Yeah. Awesome. Thank you. And there's chocolate in here. Thank you, Mystery Canadian, for all these amazing gifts. It's like, a, it's like a okay superhero. Mystery, Mystery Canadian. Canadian. <laughs> Who is it? It's Mystery Canadian! <laughs> There's a question mark. You never see their face. Whoa. Yeah, so remember, Whoa. can we get that down? Yeah, okay. I don't know if we can. I think I might have stuck that to the wall. Did you? Yep, that's stuck to the okay, wall. Okay, well we can just use, turn around the camera then. Just... Yeah, yeah, okay. We're going on a, an adventure. So a while ago, we got that amazing evolutions clock sent to us from overseas i think if i remember correctly oh no how do yeah. i zoom back out there we go from uk okay from uk well i think we have a second clock so craig and i'm assuming amelia is their daughter or some relation okay craig and amelia sent us a second one. Oh my oh my gosh version two of a snake discovery Three clock two of the snake discovery Whoa. clock they actually messaged us saying they were sending that to us. Oh yeah? So we knew it was, at least I knew it was on its way, but this yeah. was like a year ago now, so. Holy moly. We got it, it looks sweet. I love Cheyenne. Yeah, I love Cheyenne in that and too. Rex. And Rex, the hog nose, hog nose. We got two in Eastern and uh, Plains. Awesome logo there. Wow, where are we gonna put this one? I don't know. That looks so good. And then there's just, yeah, you just put a battery in the back. Maybe we'll put it somewhere in the zoo. Oh, that'd be cool in the zoo. Yeah. It's even Snake Discovery colors. Cheyenne, look at this. Look at that awesome clock. Don't be scared of it. It's okay. It's okay. That is amazing, Craig. Craig, right? 
Uh, I think you said Craig. Craig. Craig and wow. Angela. Thank you yes, so sir. much, guys. That must have taken Amelia. Her. Amelia, Craig, Amelia. Amelia. The details in there. That's yeah. like hand carved. That's amazing. Oh my gosh. That is crazy or good. Or somebody's thinking Thank behind you. the checkout counter in the store. That'd be a good oh, spot for it. Yeah, I like that idea. Let's put it on the wall oh. behind the checkout counter. Okay. I got oh, a geez. scarf. Ooh, is that a snake on it? Uh, maybe. That's amazing. Thank you. I'm putting this over here. Yeah. Oh, that's going to get warm <sighs> quick. <laughs> nice. I have another international box. This is from Erin, somewhere overseas. Great Britain. There we go. Yeah, we're putting that clock behind it. It's a uh, Harry Potter scarf. It's dark. It's the dark mark. Oh, that's sweet. Yes, that totally is the dark mark, isn't it? Perfect. It fits me. Yeah, you're a Slytherin. Yeah. Nice. This is from Paisley. They have a quick question. How long have we had Rex? We Actually, no, you've answered that before. What was your first bird? First bird was a yellow and green parakeet named Sunny. Got her for Christmas one year, and that's what started. I got her in fifth grade. And that's what started my love for exotic animals. And now I have you. And my first bird was a blue and gold macaw. Yeah, that's right. My family didn't do it properly. But <laughs> yeah. then we met somebody who did know birds. That's how we and met. And it turned it into a relationship. Your mistake of a macaw. And you got. Oh my gosh, that's the Jesus, best candy Jesus bar. Outrageous bar. The outrageous uh, bar, a king size. Oh, this is my guilty pleasure, guys. I love these. This is going to go in my backpack. <laughs> There we go. Okay. That's been added to the backpack. We got a feather test from Paisley, too. Ooh. Oh. It gets... I'll go... Goose? Nope. Is that a type of waterfowl? Nope. Is it legal? Yes. Okay. Um, weird. I don't know what this could be. I'll get you a different one that you might know it from. Uh -huh. Yeah, you'll know it from all the rest of these. Well, okay. I'll give you, you this You gave one. me the tough one? Yeah. Oh, is it a peacock? Yep. Ah, it's just a weird color morph of peacock. Yeah, it's like this one. Oh, cool. With the eye. Nice. The pretty eye. They're Those so are... pretty birds. So they are. Such pretty birds. Very pretty birds, yeah. Do you think we cool. can have peacocks at the new house? Um, maybe. We'll have and to check. It's part of an association or something. I don't think it is. I think it's outside the association. Oh, yeah, then maybe. <laughs> Let's see. I want I want people to be yelled at when they enter our driveway. Yeah. I want that call of a peacock. <laughs> yes. Whatever it is. Ooh, this is from, oh, that's right, this is from Erin, and it says for Cheyenne. Can you open this? This says you on it, oh. but this one's going to be mine. Oh, you're stealing it? Yeah, I'm going to put that over here. Fine. Get it, Cheyenne. Get it. Open it. This is your gift. Oh, there's Cheyenne. a toy in there. Got banana chips. Oh, a banana. Oh, you are a spoiled girl today, Cheyenne. Thank you, Paisley, for Thank everything you. you sent. That was amazing. The scarf would be awesome. Here you go. I'll help you. Get it. Yeah. Oh, we have like 15, 15 minutes. 15 minutes left. All right, we have to chug. We can do this. Yeah. Did you say we have to chug? Chug. Chug, chug, chug. chug. Yeah. Okay, I'll let you keep opening shot, that. Shot, 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 shot. Yes. This is for Adoption Island, or they, you took the wrong part of the gift, Cheyenne. <laughs> this was the gift. This is for you. Well, I guess she'll just play with that first. I'll put this on her stand in our office. Sorry, Cheyenne. She'll love, she will love that. And there it goes. Oh, I'm sorry. Here, now do you want this? There you go. This is for Adoption Island, baby bin. Poor baby bin. Ooh, a coconut hide! Yeah, we could totally use that in Adoption Island. And then this would be good for like a little leopard gecko. Yeah. We've been getting a lot of those to render too. Do you, want, you, Aaron? do you want to talk about the berm that is that we had for a little while in the zoo and then we decided not to keep it? Oh yeah, the hypo berm. Yeah. So remember that beautiful hypo Burmese python that we were like, oh we shouldn't keep it. Oh maybe we will. Decided to keep her for a little bit. And we put her after quarantine in the zoo, and two days later she escaped. Yep. And we had a berm in there for a long time beforehand who didn't escape. And we put her in, and within two days she was out. We figured, looking at cameras and such, it turns out she pushed the metal holding her lights aside and squeezed out. Yep. And then we didn't find her for five days until <laughs> we went into the rodent room five days later. And saw her just sitting on a shelf looking at a buffet of rodents. Yep. So then we decided, nope, we're not going to keep yeah. an escape artist. So, so we do not have her anymore. She nope. got adopted out to a really good yeah, home. She's got a great home. It says, oh, it says share Emily from Erin. Oh, dark chocolate digestives. I don't know if I can share these. These are delicious. 
I'm more of a cocky person anyway, so I might steal these. Yeah, you might. Yeah. Thank you, Erin. So we got a, an Amazon package from Nadja Debrunner. Um, oh, they okay. sent a bunch of stuff. Apparently, this isn't the first package. They apparently sent nine packages. So oh my gosh. we probably opened some of the other ones already. She was yeah. hoping that we were getting them all together, but you know, oh. sometimes that doesn't happen. We got fruit, gummy, nice. sugary things. Oh, tasty. You got some small victories, light roast coffee. More coffee? Such nice. a huge bag of coffee, too. Wow. And then Cheyenne got yo dips. Oh. That's yeah. cute. We can try that. Oh, I guess she wants to try it now. Okay, well, here you go. <laughs> you try your yo dips. Perfect. She's totally gonna open those from the left. There it goes. There it goes. Too late. <laughs> she also sent us Whoa. a sweet poster that I haven't seen yet. But... Thank you, Aaron, for the gifts. Wow. Whoa. That's an amazing poster. That is really cool. You have to show that one. Yeah. Well, Cheyenne rips open her bag. <laughs> yeah. She's getting too used to these fan mails. Yeah, she just starts diving in. That's amazing. Thank you. What was their name again? Um, that's right. It came from Amazon. Yeah, thankfully they sent a note. Nadja? Nadja. Nadja. Yep, Nadja. Well, thank you, Nadja. Thank That's you, an Nadja. Awesome I'm sure we've opened your other stuff, but I'm not 100% sure, so There's maybe a couple, we'll get more. This might be one of them at the very bottom of this stack. It's true. Because that's an Amazon package. We'll see. She got them. Oh, you got it! <laughs> Thank you, Nadja. 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 Sweet, you're hunting Cheyenne. Isn't that cool? Like yeah, I showed that. Yeah, that's that one's, amazing. As when you were doing the, uh, uh, the okay. seal. All right. Hi, and Emily. My name is Callie, and I'm from the Philippines. Wow, I have two ball pythons, one pinstripe and one normal. I have seven dogs. Oh my gosh, and bearded dragon and five guinea pigs. Question one: How do you make a hog nose not that picky? Oh, yeah. you just really have to keep trying. Eventually, they get used to the routine of feeding and that helps them get over pickiness, I suppose. But sometimes it's just getting used to the routine as well as tricking them with scenting their food with other things that they want to eat. That helps too. Um, question two, why does Emily like sweets too much? Why doesn't everybody Be like sweets too much? Because you guys all help me like acquire more sweets and then I can like them because there's so many I have to eat and I enjoy every one of them. They're just amazing. If Emily wasn't allergic to dogs or cats, what kind of animal would you get? That's a good question. I mean, we probably have a dog and a cat. We probably have a dog and a cat, yeah. Probably. Along with all of our yeah. animals. You can see it. Callie sent from the Philippines. Whoa, crunchy chocolate flavored corn snack. That sounds awesome. That, whoa. Want to try it? Oh, crunchy. Mm. Crunchy, or we could try uh, chicharroni. Chicharron? Chicharron? Cocktail? You know, it's not right. No. Oh, the pork rinds. Oh, pork rinds. Okay. Yeah. Whoa, these are all from the Philippines. This is assorted nuts from the Philippines. And there's, oh my gosh, Callie, you sent so many. This adobo is adobo nuts. cracker nuts. You probably like those. You like crunchy things. And then, oh, no. oh, I pulled off the inside and then let the box, oh, that one. And then there's oh, peanut milk chocolate, curly tops, more curly tops. What's a curly top? I don't know, but we're gonna try these. Okay. And the adobo nuts and anything else oh, you want. Oh, this one says to add dump oh. steel, adds chocolate. Okay, that's Ooh. pretty good. Whoa, just a whiff of chocolate. How oh, is it? Oh, oh, oh. Those are really good. Those are really good. Well, okay, yep. Let's try. They're good. Naga Raya's adobo nuts. Okay. Oh. That's not what I was expecting. I wonder what kind of nut that is. Oh, it's super crunchy. Oh, they're really good. Really? Mm-hmm. Oh, whoa. They like evolve. They do. Kind of peanut buttery taste. Mm-hmm. Wow. Wow. Oh my gosh, that's really you good. You want to try curly nuts too? Sure. Let's or try curly, curly tops. Nuts. I'm saving these over here. I'm surprised Shane's only went for one of those. I am too, actually. Are you getting full? You can't be getting full yet. There's one more in there. 
You just have to get it out. Look. Get it right in there. Okay. Curly tops. I know I said for Ed, but Ed I'm, is sharing. I'm offering to share. Okay. We have, oh, they come in a tray. That's kind of what I thought they were going to do. Whoa. They're smaller cool. than I thought. So it's a little, little tray for all these little chocolates. Oh. Just pure chocolate? There's just pure chocolate. All right. That's pretty good. No okay. fun. Thank you so much, Kelly, for all these goodies. We'll get a little taste of the Philippines mm -hmm. today. So oh, Scott, Amy, cool. Chloe, and Chloe, and Harper from Indiana sent us a box full of goodies. Oh my gosh. Including dragons. What? That's epic. Oh my gosh. They sent you a Reese's heart. Nice. Valentine's Day heart. They sent some peanut babies. Oh wow. Which, this one brings back so many memories. The blue jay? No. Oh, the, the snake. snake. <laughs> We were just going through your Beanie Baby collection yeah. yesterday. Yep. He has from his parents a lot of rare bears, like a really nice condition Garcia. Yeah. Like the tag. Princess Diana the, bear. Some leaves. Okay. Yeah, nice. my mom my mom went nuts when it came to uh Beanie Baby bears. bears, which is awesome. Yeah. <laughs> that's what you inherited. Yep, and then a feather test. Ooh. That's a dyed chicken feather. Nope. No? Not is according it, to this. A natural color? I think so. Then it's gotta be like Queen of Bavaria conure nope. or something. I don't know. It says sun conure. That's not a sun conure feather. <laughs> maybe, maybe I could be wrong, but I feel like this is a dyed chicken feather based on the inside being white. I've never seen a sun conure feather quite that chick, but I could be wrong. Who knows? Sorry, I don't know the bird. I, I give it to you, but I don't know the bird. This is from Harmony in Oregon. Harmony, oh my gosh. Harmony sent Cheyenne snacks. Oh, Cheyenne doesn't these, need more snacks. These are for you. I might not open these so we don't have a ton of opens. Single open things for Yeah, Cheyenne. I'm going to save these for when we could use some snacks for her. And a toy. You can have this right away, though. There you go. Aw, thank you, Harmony, for the Cheyenne toys. Of course, you're going to go for the tag, not the actual toy. Yeah, that's how kind of So this is apparently from Wiccans. I don't think it's from Adam. But... Whoa, it's upside down. That's a diamond painting. Yeah. Who is that from? It just said Wiccans, and I didn't see a note. Oh, there's a note. Okay. okay. We'll see. Hmm. This is Ed and Emily. What is your least favorite type of snake? And oh, Winkle. Bird. Winkle. Winkle. <laughs> Not okay. Wiccans. Okay. Least favorite type of snake and bird. Cheyenne is my least favorite bird. <laughs> oh, whatever. <laughs> I'm going to assume, really? Do you have to do that? Uh, okay, I guess that's hers. Uh, my least favorite type of bird. Yours is probably cockatiels. No, oh, cockatiels suck. Cockatiels are great. They're terrible. They're great, great birds. They're just a pain in the butt to groom because yeah, they're Yeah, until they hard. come down and bite right here on your finger. He just has a grudge against cockatiels. I don't know what my least favorite bird would be. I don't really. I mean, you don't really like palm cockatoos. Oh yeah, palm cockatoos. <laughs> They're yep. kind of ugly. That's my least favorite. Their beaks don't close. Okay, so Google palm cockatoo. Black palm. Black palm cockatoo. Yeah, black palm cockatoo. They are a cool looking bird, but their beaks don't close all the way, and it's just it's just weird. Yeah. So least favorite. I like how they bang sticks though on things. That's yeah. pretty cool. Oh, there's so many goodies in here. Uh, thank you. This is Harmony, right? I think. Yeah, thank you so much, Harmony, for all the goodies. There's like little individual bags for us. So this thank is from you. Derek and Tammy Wink. Yeah. Winkles? Yeah. That's a cool diamond painting. That is a really cool diamond painting. Wow. That must have taken hours. Holy thank you, guys. Yeah. We'll hang it up in the office. Another office piece, yep. for sure. <laughs> That's beautiful. That's the kind of snake you want someday. A bush I viper? Mean, that'd be sweet. Yeah. All right, this is from Dawn in Canada. Any questions, by the way, coming up? Oh, um. Oh. Whoa. Dawn sent these. Oh, these are cool. These are like cool Christmas tree decorations. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, Cheyenne. Oh, there's something in here for Cheyenne, actually. I'm going to read the letter quick first while Ed's looking at questions. Oh, I love your handwriting. Oh, who's Naughty Reptile of the Day? Naughty reptile. Been, no, naughty reptile. Recently. Who is Naughty Reptile of the Day? I can go look. Okay, it's gonna go check and see who Naughty Reptile of the Day is and why. Um, although I do not have snakes, I appreciate how informative your videos are. Wanted to show my appreciation by making these Polish stars. That's what these are. Polish stars. Okay. 
It gives me oh, something to do in my off time. You can put them in a window or on your Christmas tree. This would be perfect on a Christmas tree. As for the hoodie, I thought Cheyenne could use this so she won't pluck as much. There's a store in Europe that makes them. Dawn, thank you for the Pokemon hoodie. Oh my gosh, you, who's Red Pal of the Naughty Red Pal? Jester for trying to eat Madison out of program. Oh, that's right. Okay, yep. Jester did try to eat Madison out of program, so he is Naughty Red Pal of the day. This is cute. It's a Pikachu hoodie. You know what's going to happen, Cheyenne? Oh. Can, uh -oh. I, can I put this on you? Oh, yeah, Poor it's on Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, sorry. Don't slide. Don't slide. Come on. No, you really don't want to wear it. Okay, maybe I'll put it on when here, you need a new sweater. Here, let, me, let me see her. I can put it on her. <laughs> Come here. Gonna... Step up. Good girl. Okay, well, Ed's going to put that on her. She didn't like it because she was slipping and sliding on the box there, I'm pretty sure. No. Oh, here's a question. Help looking for a snake discovery hognose multi-morph shirt, like the bull snake shirt Emily wears for my son. Oh, uh, if you go to the description of any of our videos, there should be a link to a store there that has that design. If it doesn't, then you can go to spring.com. They're a third party we also work with who sells merch for us. If you go to spring.com and search snake discovery, I know for sure it's on there. Oh my God. <laughs> She looks like a, a boxer, like a like a boxer, a fighter. Oh yeah. Like, da, 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 da. Oh my god. Ba, 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 ba. I'm so sorry, Shania. We'll just there. <laughs> oh All my right. gosh, yeah, that's that's pretty good. She's she's a good sport about it too. <laughs> oh, she also pooped on the table. She pooped on the table. Well, that's what we get for putting up a hoodie on her, I guess. Yay! The girl. <laughs> Okay, this is a box from, if you want to set Cheyenne on this box? Sure. Okay, we're reaching the end, guys. All right, this is from Grace, uh, Grace, okay, Grace from Nevada, covered in duct tape. I pre-sliced it, though, before we started Whoa. filming. <laughs> Ooh, that's cool. Okay, Grace sent, there's a the bag. We have, well, thanks, Cheyenne. She's, She's helping. starting to open the next one. Oh, chocolate! Nice salted caramel chocolate. And Grace. Oh, wow. Blind Dog Coffee. Nice. Nice. Oh, it's organic coffee. That's cool. I'm going to try this soon for sure. That sounds awesome. Thank you, Grace. And we have a note. Hi, my name is Grace. I live in Nevada. I have three horses, two dogs, two goats, five chickens, three ducks, and a rabbit. I really want a snake. You know what? This coffee is from my local town, and I. Got you both chocolate from Grace. Aww, here's the chocolate too. Thank you so much, Grace. I can't wait to try this chocolate. I love trying new brands. So Shiloh from Australia sent us a sweet green treat picture. Oh wow, nice. That's pretty cool. Yep. And also, I'm pretty sure a shingleback skin. I think that is a shingleback. Which is amazing. Whoa. It might be used in our educational programs. I bet we can use this in programs, yeah. They also sent us some uh, Freddo chocolates and a Violet Crumble bar. Ooh. Let's see what a Violet Crumble bar tastes uh, like. Yeah. That's an awesome shade. Yeah, it is. That can slide in the backpack, too, in pretty <laughs> places. Oh, oh, that's really good. Oh. It's a uh, sponge candy. Oh, uh, it is fun, candy. That was very good. Thank you, Shiloh. Thank you very much, Shiloh. Wow. Yeah, it's very good. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I think I'm out of packages over here. There's only a handful of packages oh, yeah, over there. Anyway, I guess I should be talking. Yeah, you just this, stop talking when I walk away. This next package, which I don't think this is it, but it could be. Amber from Idaho sent us some scoops. You can use those for those big grubs. Yes, that's the, what I was thinking. The Hercules Beetles. The Hercules Beetles. I needed something to scoop. I was looking for a kitty litter scoop, but yeah, I think this might work. that'd be perfect. Some screen cover clips. Nice. Some turtle food. Wow. Looks like a cave. So many things. I guess it's a cave. Oh, it's yep, probably. It's box. Totally cave. Got a cave. Nice. That was an interesting looking cave. Yeah, it is. Oh, snakes are going to love that. And then a book on uh, snakes. Cool. cool. Thank you, 
I'm pretty sure, yeah, amber. Thank you, amber. We can definitely use those. Especially those scoops from the Hercules beetles. Yeah. We've been looking for something like that. Ooh. This is from Mevlin. And Mevlin is, oh, this is a crunched up package. Boy, this has had a tough time. Um, I don't know where it's from, but it must be from far away, for sure. Oh, Portugal. Whoa, that's cool. It's from Portugal. Dear what would you do for a lychee that has special needs that won't uh, eat unless it's like food is held up to account? Oh. I mean, I think eventually they will just find out where it sits and just leave the food there. I have seen lychees just like not eat when they're like given food. Mm -hmm. So you might just be able to put it someplace where um, they like to sit and that might, might help. Could you like start the lychee off by holding it with the food and so it starts licking it and then you slowly transition it back into the cage Absolutely. while it's going or yeah. just over Or just time? try and feed it in the cage and just get oh, it yeah. used to that area. That would be my guess. Yeah, that could probably work. Maybe. I don't know. Each one's different, I suppose. My four-year-old Kaique named Mira is like the boss of my online Etsy shop. From four months old, she has been testing every design. Uh, Kaiques are a type of bird, by the way, a small parrot. Uh, she's been testing every design I make by her vigorous standards. Uh, if she can't pull the eyes out, it passes. <laughs> uh, sadly, Mira has started plucking and looks just like Cheyenne now, and we think it's due to hormonal stress. She's had multiple blood, blood tests come out normal, she eats Harrison's, tons of toys. So that's why we decided to get a second black-headed kite named Archie. Unfortunately, they don't get along. <laughs> okay, so I wonder if that has something to do with what's in here, her two kikes. Oh, it totally is! Oh, I wonder if she makes these on our Etsy shop. Oh, she must. Do you have a Do you have a business name that I can? Oh, I don't see a business. Oh, nope, I don't see a business name. But this is from Mevlin, handmade cakes. Oh my gosh. Yes. Oh, here's the business card too. Perfect. These are adorable little cakes. Look at that. Black headed and the white bellied, or the yellow headed as they're called in Europe, I think. Um, these are so cute. Oh my gosh. Yes, definitely go check her out. Oh my goodness. Aw, thank you so much, Mevlin. I love these. Can you do a blue and gold macaw? That'd be amazing. Wouldn't that be cute? Yeah, a little blue and gold? That yeah, isn't that so cute? And then eventually a hyacin? Yeah. Like have one of each? Yep. That'd be cool. What do you think? Boop, 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 boop. Don't actually do it, <laughs> Yeah. So Thank Jillian you, from Canada sent us a nice note and some goodies, but they have a couple questions. Uh, first one is, will having a dog be a problem for a snake? Uh, not necessarily. No, I mean, just don't have them next to each other yeah. out at the same time. Keep the snake higher than the dog would be so the dog can't look at, you know, like, scare yeah. the snake. And if the snake isn't eating, move the snake to a room that the dog can't go into. Mm -hmm. um, but Other than that, as long as you keep them separated, I don't think there'd be any issues. And then, ah. which of your snakes would be the leader of other snakes if you would, if they could have leaders in the snake world? Leaders in so the snake world? So who would be president <laughs> in our snake collection? I think Brad, our bull snake. Oh, yeah. She, I think she'd be president. She would I rule with an iron fist. Yeah, I think so. But, I think. um... I don't know, I'm getting that far. <laughs> I kind of gave you the answer and I went, no, nope, oh, done with that question. <laughs> But we got a bunch of things from Canada. Oh, Canada? You wanna try cheesies? Yes, I do. <laughs> They're so orange. Oh my gosh. All right, Canadian Cheetos. Oh, they're stale. Oh, oh no. Oh, 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 oh no. No. Oh, I bet they would be good. Oh, I'm so sorry. When did this expire? 2020. <laughs> That's why they're stale. When is this one? November 17th. How how old do you think these ketchup chips are? Oh, no, no, ketchup chips right. are delicious. I'm so sorry. Oh, these are actually still good. Are they? <laughs> Maybe there's an ear leak or something in here. I want to try these when they're not stale because they right. seem like a cool idea. Okay. You want to try all dressed? Oh yeah. yeah let's See try how those. badly these are stale. Okay. Wow, those are pretty good. Are they? Mm hmm. They have all sorts of flavors. Oh, that is good. All right. I approve of that one. They sent us some Smarties mm -hmm. and some caramel milk. Hmm. Never heard of those. There I haven't either. Caramel milk, just caramel filled cho um, chocolate. Oh, yeah. they sent us. Awesome. I'm pretty sure, uh, uh, what are these called again? 
they're oh, brine shrimp? Brine shrimp. Oh. Or uh, what do we call them in the States when you catch them and you have them in there? Uh, sea, sea monkeys. monkeys. Yeah. yeah. Sent to sea monkeys. Cool. We can raise some sea monkeys. And some maple syrup cream, cream cookies. cookies. Wow. There's all sorts of Canadian goodies yeah. in here. A? Coffee crisps? A? That's right, yeah. <laughs> Oh, we should have opened this before build off so that Adam oh, Wicked. Adam could have been like he was at home. Yeah, yeah. These look old. Oh no. Ready? <laughs> yes, let's do this. Oh, Cream go. cookies. Yes. Uh, let's see if oh, they're not too bad. Oh, that's pretty good. Are they good? Mm hmm. They have a really good maple flavor. Oh, wow, those are good. Yeah. I Wait. like it. Thank you, Julian. Yes, it was just. Just these that were stale. Maybe those are just stale. Maybe that's all they are. I don't know. Does that, has anybody had these before in the chat? Are they supposed Do to? Do they taste stale? Yeah. Generally? Or are it's just two years expired and that's why they're stale? I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. I'll have, watch you open. Okay. I have a package from uh, Kaylee. I wanted to write one of my favorite YouTubers to thank you and your community for keeping me company throughout the past year. Uh, when I get off work, I very I'm pretty much sure no. It's not supposed to taste stale. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay, shoot. I very much look forward to settling down with my dogs to catch and learning from you. Uh, to show my appreciation, I've put together a package of some of the most popular snacks from my home state, New Mexico. I mean, here's a list. There's Takis. Nice. Takis are good. You like Takis? Mm -hmm. There's well, those are Takis jerky. Nuts. Oh, wow. Those are good too. Actual jerky. Nice. Okay. Wow. There you go. Ed loves jerky of all sorts, so he will take all of these, I bet. Well, yeah, I'm not going to share them with John either. Oh, yeah. Sorry, John. <laughs> That's right, John. Unless, if he comes to me and says green tree pythons are better, I might give him a package. Oh, okay. So, so he has to go down to that level, huh? I don't think he's ever going to say green trees are better than emerald tree boas. They are, so it doesn't matter. So what started oh, this debate good. a long time ago, because you wrote will occasionally say green tree, better, green tree pythons are better than emerald tree boas. What started all of that was when we were doing build uh, the construction in the zoo, our friend John, our pilot friend John, who you've seen in videos helping us out, uh, he had a discussion or debate with Ed just one night when we were all tired. They were discussing what was better. Um, that one you don't have to, that one's already done, Ed, that one's already done. Oh. Um, so there was a fidget spinner in here. <laughs> Uh, he goes, emerald tree boas are better than green tree pythons, and they just went off, had this big debate. So ever since then, we've been trying to lay hints that green tree feathers, that pythons are better. Because they are. It's not a hint, it's a fact. <laughs> so if John were to tell you, okay, fine, green tree pythons are better, yeah, he, he loves jerky, then you would share some of your jerky? Yeah, okay. okay. I would okay. buy him jerky. Oh, it's would not you? a bride. Okay. But it's okay. just, you know, eventually we'll put this to bed. Hot salsa. Oh, nice. Nice, nice. you're going to love that. There's chopped green chilies from New Mexico. Okay. Queso dip mix. How do you make this? This sounds awesome. Uh, mix Velveeta cheese and milk with this. Oh, that's going to be delicious. Sweet. Okay, we'll try that. Ooh, dried spicy mango. Cool. There's, ooh, coffee. New Mexican coffee. Sweet, I will try that. This is good salsa. There, is it? Are you just cracked it open? <laughs> nice. Then, oh, chili powder. There's a lot of spicy things. Is that a New Mexican thing? New Mexico thing? Mayan spice drinking chocolate. Is everything spicy in New Mexico? Oh my I like goodness. It. Yeah, that's right up Ed's alley. I think you'll be tasting most of these things. In the next shenanigans video, you're going to see it. Everyone, six people from staff, including myself, you do the one chip challenge. Yep, that happens Monday night here. I was the only one to make it the entire hour. Yeah, well, there were three. We switched the rules. So the one chip challenge, it's like a package with one chip in it, which is really, really spicy. And the challenge is eat the whole chip and not have anything to like calm down your taste buds for an hour. Um, we switched it to five minutes for our little mini challenge here that we did two nights ago with our staff. And you did it, Sam did it, and Max did mm -hmm. it. And uh, that's everybody else couldn't couldn't even complete the chip. No. So uh, that's gonna be in shenanigans part two. Yes. We were the only one to Thank eat you. the entire chip. Everybody else is like, I'm gonna take this little corner. I didn't even try it. No. I would have died. Chip challenge. See, we have some super chats really quick. Oh yeah. Um, From... A name. We need a name for a salmon colored 
black uh, albino rat, black rat snake. Oh, you're so generous. A salmon colored albino black rat snake? Yeah. Oh, we need a name for it? Oh, what did we do? Macaroni. Macaroni? Sure. There you go. Macaroni. That was, that was the first one that came to my mind. So it's like, if it's a that color, it makes me think of macaroni and cheese. Or Chester. Cheddar? Or Chester Cheetos. Oh, yeah. Also kind of reminds me of mac and cheese. Oh, so I like Chester. Chester. Yeah. Well, what, those two ideas for you. Hopefully, hopefully that helps. And in the future, we are going to be doing kind of a video, I think. We are doing a video. Um, we're basically going to be putting, since we are in the winter up here, and if power goes out during like a negative 20 degree like thing, like weather, we are actually getting a generator for this place. So yes. that will be kind of a video of just setting that up. But really for... Did you just poop? No. Okay. I think so. Okay. Really for if your power goes out, just drive them somewhere. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, you know, bring them somewhere. Pack up all your animals, bring them somewhere with power. Yeah. Have heat, uh, transportation heat packs, that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. If it's warm, I don't know what to do. Then, drive them somewhere. Yeah, bring them somewhere with <laughs> air conditioning, I guess. Yeah. This is from Austin and Stacy in Wisconsin. Oh. Yeah, Spooner. Oh, nice. Yeah. That's where my cabin used to be. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Aw, we get the Certificate of Awesome Award. Nice! That's awesome. We've been trying to get this for years. Framed it. Yep, that's, that's been, I've been trying for my entire life. And yeah, we finally got it as of October 14th, 2020. Wow, we've had it for almost two years. And we didn't even know. Why oh was I gosh. even trying these last what? two years? <laughs> my knife went. I love to go snake and spider hunting in my backyard. I now have, this is from Austin. Let's see. There's downsizing. Um, oh, they used to have a bearded dragon. That's kind of cool. Aww. This is from Stacy. I'm so happy to have been introduced to your channel by my friend Austin. We get together almost every Wednesday to learn how to knit and crochet cool stuff, and we check in with Nick's every every time to see what's new. Aww. That was a couple years ago. Maybe they don't anymore. But that's cool that you watched our video. Hopefully you do. That'd maybe. be really sad. It would be <laughs> like more two years we're no longer friends. Yeah. <laughs> I hope you're still friends, Stacy and Austin. <laughs> no. Yes, we've included some locally roasted coffee from where we live in Spooner in Shell Lake, Wisconsin. Nice. Okay, that was really where my That's where the castle was, was Shell Lake. And some popcorn because this is what we make every time we get together and watch Snake Discovery. Oh, cool. So we get to, like, be a part of your get together. Oh, everything's wrapped in here so nicely. And. Treat for you! Oh, my Look hair looks that. really fluffy. It does look really fluffy. It's so cute. <laughs> when I get like sweaty, my hair just turns into like a like, almost pro kind of thing. It really does. It just yeah. curls up like none other. Yeah. This is. Like, where's popcorn? Oh, this is the popcorn that they make when they get together oh, and crochet. Nice. Sweet. We will think of you two when we try this. Nice. Awesome. Sure. Are you done with fan mail, Cheyenne? Yes. Yeah, we got is. three more boxes, including that one, Cheyenne. And then we have to go because we have to drop snakes Ooh, off. That's cool. Oh, it's, it's like a. I meant to like display cobra. them here. Yeah, it's like a exactly. I remember like doing these in school so much, or actually at home in the nineties. Oh. oh, that smells like good coffee. Sweet. Oh, this is something they crochet. Do, do you have a scarf to match my scarf? I, I might. I might. Where'd my scarf go? Right. Uh oh, oh, there it is. Let me see if I can get this off. I lost the scissors again. You want a knife? No, I'll just pull it through. There we go. Whoa! Oh, that's. I mean, it's cool, but it's not as cool as the dark mark sweater. How does this work? I think it just. Can you stretch it out? Put it over your head? No. No. What? What is this? If, if it's, it's my arm, it's, it's just a tube. For a really fat snake. Maybe it's a sweater for a boa constrictor. For Doug. Maybe it's a sweater for Cheyenne. Is this for you? Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's beautiful. Ah, okay, let me see. Did I miss something? No, I'm curious. Eh. Okay. Eh, right up there it is. You included. Uh, Austin made this amazing and super cool snake scarf for your oh, green tree nice. pythons, and we added the oh. walnuts for Cheyenne. Green tree pythons are not that big. <laughs> Maybe you, you could stuff like 10 All of them, them in, there. in there. Yeah. Yeah. That's still pretty cool, though. This might get turned into a boa constrictor sweater, if that's okay. So I think this would fit Doug pretty well. But that is really cute. There you go. And it's beautiful on Cheyenne. 
Thank you, Stacy and Austin, right? Yeah, Stacy and Austin, or Austin? Yeah. Thank you so much, guys. That's cool. Okay. So I have an, a box from Marcus from Scotland. Oh, wow. Yeah. I have a couple of questions. What? Last two? Yep, these are the last two. Last two so boxes. I'll let you open this one. Okay. Um, uh, they have a couple questions. What's the best cleanup crew and plants for bioactive for enclosures? I guess it depends on what species be going in there. I would say like powder oranges are a really good isopod, but if they're going to go in like a gray tree frog habitat, the tree frogs are going to eat them. So powder oranges for, are fast though. They are fast. And cheap. Yeah. So I mean, in general, probably powder oranges. I would say powder orange, powder blue. Yeah, they're fast and they breed really fast too, so they'll okay. populate really well. And they want to know how do you maintain high humidity without mold growth? That comes from the springtails. Springtails yes. each eat mold in the wild, so they'll just eat it and keep it under control for you. Yeah. So good there's questions. a lot of other questions here, but that's Should a lot of questions. Share one more. Sure, one more. Uh, how many different species of snakes do you have in total? Oh, that's a good question. Yeah. I don't know the answer to that one. We have 75 ish exhibits in the zoo. Okay. I can say that. Does Cheyenne have a favorite jumper? And if so, which one is it? The one she's wearing! Yeah, this one she's wearing. Yeah, this one she really likes actually. And it's nice and so oh, are you gonna roll it? Okay. And she's gonna there we go. So you can see her beautiful pink sweater. I know I didn't really mean to do that, but you rolled so I did it. <laughs> um, but yeah, she likes the really soft material of this, I think. So this is also from it's from Marcus, Alex, and Cheryl. They sent us some oh, crochet whoa. snakes, which are really cool. Oh, those are really cool. Try and get some whole those almonds. Are so cute. Which we don't need to open right now. Oh, thank you, Lane. Thank you so much. Oh, uh, we got some oh. Scottish money. What? Oh, it's pounds. What does okay. Scottish money look like? That, what? Okay. That's, euros. that's cool. Pounds. Man, exotic money it looks it's so, so much, much cooler than. It's so much better than the US. They have clear parts for their bills. It's got a big thing of digestive. So many digestives. But I think we should oh. try this shortbread. shortbread. Oh, yeah, we can try some Scottish shortbread. And then we have one more package. One more box after that. Yes. Okay, we'll then we have to this. go and rush out snakes. Yeah, we have to pack up snakes really quick. <laughs> and go and ship them off to their six homes. Yes. Yeah, hopefully that'd be kind of cool. Somebody was watching this and they're getting one of the snakes we're shipping out today. Oh. Mm. It's so crumbly and mm -hmm. tasty. Oh. What? Your bread is really good. Try some. How come you yell at me? Because bread isn't like taffy. It's still sugary. Not at pure sugar like taffy is. Look at and look how happy she is. Right, Thank you for the Scottish goodies. I can't believe how many things you guys are sending us. And so many thoughtful gifts, too. Yeah, you guys are amazing. Oh my gosh. Okay, I definitely need something sharp to cut that. There you I... go. Here, pick her up. Oh, can you step up? Take your treat. There we go. Okay. Here Perfect. Go. Okay. Oh my gosh. The so, last package for today's live stream. Um, where are we going to put you? You can sit. Oh, she can sit here. Perfect. You can sit there. Okay. There you go. Eat your shortbread. Oh my gosh. Is this? Oh, it's a soccer ball. It's the Jolly Soccer Ball. Rex That's can have right. A new yeah. There we go. We got a new, nice. new one for her. New toy for Rex. Awesome. And then there's. Whoa. Alpha coffee. I can't believe you're sending me so many copies. I love this so much, but you don't have to send me so many copies. But it's amazing. I, yes. It has a skull on it. It's got to be good. We had some amazing fans from Louisiana. Is that where they're from? Hmm? The ones that the Dallas. Oh, yeah. They, yeah, gave us, they gave us like a tote full of coffee. Yeah, so. I couldn't believe that. So every order sends coffee to deployed troops. Oh, that's kind of cool. So it's better known. Look at that. Oh, uh, I like that. Missouri turtle pellets. Oh, cool. Is there a note in here since this we is get, an Amazon box? Yeah, is there? I hope there's a note. Is this part of the other person who said they sent nine packages? Maybe. We can use this for our turtles. Absolutely. I mean, they seem to know how Amazon works and puts notes in, so I'd assume. Yeah, there's be. Oh, there it is. There they okay, are. Okay, there's notes. There's notes. Oh, wow, there's hazelnut, like, biscuit snacks? Yep, it, it is. It's the same person. Same person? Yep. Oh my gosh. Naja. 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 Naja, you sent us so much stuff. Aww. Okay, there's chocolates in Did here. Did you show this yet? No, I haven't okay. done that yet. Doesn't then there's no battery. a whole box full of wow. Hershey's bars. I'm so happy right now. Thank you, Nadja. They really made rattlesnakes. Oh, rattlesnake gummies. That's pretty cool. Hmm. Now, do you want to show that? And the last thing from today's fan mail. Which I think we'll need to figure out if we can do. 
A remote controlled crocodile. Okay. Does this work? We need to open this right now. We can make this go a little bit light to see if this works. Okay, okay. You find a question to Okay, answer. I will answer a question. I will see if I can anyway. Uh, let's see. Uh, do you still feed your turtles boiled eggs? No, uh, that was really just for the Easter video when we had a bunch of hard boiled eggs. It was a fun snack. We give hard boiled eggs, or just scrambled cooked eggs, to like our legless lizards, our blue tongue skink really likes it. Uh, we're trying to offer a variety of different proteins for all sorts of things. Just pop them. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yes. I think we need batteries for it, though. Do we? Yeah, it probably doesn't come with batteries. Well, maybe this could be in shenanigans. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Yeah, we need a screwdriver anyway to take the battery cap off. Well, what so, kind of bat- three double A's? What does that one mean? Uh, I don't know. We're gonna have to- oh. I guess. You can vamp while I get- if this is all double A's, too. You think? Oh, it's probably double A's or triple A's. Do we have that many? Yes. Oh, yeah, that's true. Okay. Right, I will go do this. I'll be back. Okay. Sounds good. I will try to answer some questions here. Let's see. How do you send digital art? That's a great question, actually. So, if you want to send digital art, we love watching or looking at it. Um, info at snakediscovery.com would probably be the best place to send it. Then you can attach whatever you want. Um, that's the one we, we check that a lot. Um, so, yeah, that'd be a good choice. Can you step up? Good girl, are you done with your shortbread? Was that tasty? You got so many snacks today. And there's a lot of open bags with just one treat taken up. That's okay though, you get lots of snacks. Uh, I know a lot of people ask where to send fan mail. Since we are moving actually, we won't be in the same town that our PO box was in, so we're going to close that down. And just, if you wanna send mail straight to our facility, that would work out best, because then we can get it here right away, and it'll be open sooner. And I am also very sorry for how long it has taken to open some of these packages. Between uh, building the facility, having build off and other events in the facility, and all the different stages of opening, it's, and hiring people, it's been crazy. <laughs> so I'm really sorry that we haven't been able to open these in a timely manner, like at all. But that's why we wanted to open these, uh, this half of what we currently have in our living room, and the other half of the packages, which are still there, we're going to hopefully open in the next week or two so that we're all caught up again finally. And then we can regularly do fan mail opening videos. And then we can maybe get them opened before things expire. That would always be the goal. But anyway, uh, if you just send it straight to our facility, that would probably be best at this point moving forward. Uh, not that you have to send us fan mail at all, but if you really want to, it's uh, 831 Century Avenue North. If you just Google Snake Discovery in Minnesota, it'll pop right up. But then all that fan mail goes into our office right in front of my desk, and that's where it is now, not in our living room at our house. So that'll get us to open it well, quicker too. Uh, when will you make from Buck Rogers? When will you make another shenanigans video? That's actually a great question. We are so happy that people enjoyed shenanigans part one and wanted a part two. So we actually have all the footage for a part two ready to go. I just have to film an intro and an outro, and then it's done, just has to be edited. And we just only haven't done it because of how many egg videos we had. Uh, we wanted to kind of get those out so that we could go into baby videos. And now that we're finally at the stage where we can do baby videos, like yesterday was the start of a mall with the lavender hogs. Now we're going to do like a baby video and then another type of video and then a baby video and then another, like moving Chloe into the zoo. That one's going to come up soon. And then we'll sneak a shenanigans in there too. So yeah, I, I'm glad you guys like the shenanigans videos. You ready? Oh, did you put it in? Yeah. Okay, let me grab the... Uh... Good to go. Okay, okay. Let me... You can unplug this from my wall. Okay, we're going to unplug my phone. And then I'm going to take this. We've got Cheyenne here. Hi, Cheyenne. And then we've got Ed with this remote-controlled crocodile. Oh, my God. His mouth lights up. Oh, my gosh. Yes, it does. Right. It sounds like a turkey. <laughs> does it move, though? It does. Is that top speed? I think so. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> so it goes forward and backwards. Yeah, it doesn't move forward that fast, but it kind of does. And I love the lineup now. Well, there we go. Thank you, Nadja, for the remote control crocodile. I think you can just let it go. It'll just, uh... all right, cool. I'm not holding anything. All right, well, we'll just let him explore. And we'll wrap up this stop. live stream. Oh, you can stop it too? 
I don't think he's going to listen to you, though. It's like Rex. Nope, it's going to keep going. Nope. Rex does the exact same thing. <laughs> yes. So. Oh, that was a weird noise. That's backing up. And it backs up. All right. Well, thank you guys so much for all of the amazing... Oh, it did stop. Look at that. Okay, went to sleep. Thank you for all of the amazing gifts. Oh, no, it's awake again. Shh. <laughs> anyway, now I have so many... Would you be quiet, Rex? Ah, <sighs> Rex. Just needs all the attention. Uh, thank you so much for all of these amazing... Wait, I have a way to do something with this. I can turn this one off. I can't do that with Rex. <laughs> no, you can't. There, now she'll quiet down. Ta -da! Perfect. <laughs> no, but seriously, thank you guys. We don't deserve all of these amazing gifts that you send, but you are, there's some incredible, like, talent for the artists who send us fan mail. We love seeing those, the canvases, the drawings, the sketches. Even if it's like an envelope and we don't have a chance to show that on a live stream. Oh, well, we are we going to do something about single... the eggs? Secret eggs. eggs, we were going to do something. Oh, that's right. Oh, okay. So that's, sure, we can do that really quick. Also, um, Incubator's not done yet, so that's why the video's not out yet. The Incubator works. It's just not. It's complete. not pretty yet. Yeah, it has to move the wires to the back so they don't stick yep. out the front. But it does function. It and functions, it has, and that's why I haven't done anything with it. It has two new species of snake eggs incubating in it right now that we've never bred before. Two? Yeah, the black something. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's okay, right. okay, so those are new. And the one that I'm most excited for, for hatching, are false water cobra eggs. Yep. They laid eggs, guys. We have a clutch of false water cobras, and I am so excited. We paired them. We weren't sure if it was going to work out, so we, you know, paired them temporarily, took them apart, and she laid eggs. So yeah. we have falsies on the And way, they're guys. good. And they're good eggs, too. Yeah, and they're moving through incubation just fine. We have a video about them coming out probably in a few weeks, so you guys know way before the video is going to come out now. But there you go. That's what I'm most excited for. It magnetizes. It magnetizes? Yeah. Oh, look at that. That's pretty there sweet. Okay. So thank you guys for joining us on this impromptu fan mail opening. Yeah. We're going to go clean up our mess. We were supposed to not make a mess. Yeah, it's just inevitable. I think it is. Please. And uh, we have to go ship some snakes. So right. thank you guys. Thank you, Patreon backers. Thank you, everybody, for all of your generous support. And I guess we'll see you on Friday's video. All right. Goodbye, Cheyenne. Get the camera. Get the camera. Get it. Get it, get it, get yeah, it. Yeah, good job.